for these, but also for those who will trust in me because of their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are united with me and I with you. I pray that they may be united with us so that the world may believe that you sent me. Amen? Amen. Let's look closer at verse 20, please. Vamos a acercamente al versículo 20, por favor. I pray not only for these, but also for those who will trust in me because of their word. Amen? Amen. We are all sitting here today Estamos todos sentados el día de hoy aquí, believing in Messiah Yeshua, en el Mesías Yeshua because of the word of a bunch of Jewish guys. Por la palabra de un grupo de hombres judíos. Remember, does that really sink in? Esto, uh, pensado en esto that you're here que estás aquí, because some Jewish men like myself hombres, hombres judíos como yo mismo, were stupid enough fueron suficientemente to leave everything else behind dejar todo atrás, and I do mean stupid y digo estúpido, to do this job para hacer este trabajo, for the greater good of the world para hacer algo bueno para el mundo, for people that they didn't even know para las personas que ellos no conocían, for children that they didn't even know para niños que ellos no conocían, that they took on their mantle que ellos tomaron su capa, to tell the world about Yeshua the Messiah. Para decirle a Yeshua, al mundo sobre Yeshua el Mesías. And Yeshua prayed for these Jewish men. Y Yeshua oró por esos hombres judíos. These disciples, these Talmudim. Esos discípulos, esos Talmudim. That they would bring forth this message. Así pueden traer este mensaje. A message of truth. El mensaje de verdad. A message of hope. Un mensaje de esperanza. A message about the king. Un mensaje sobre el rey. The Messiah had come. Que el ya ha because faith comes by hearing la fe viene por escuchar. and hearing by the word of Jehovah. Y escuchando la palabra de Jehovah this is a true statement este es un dicho verdadero. if you don't talk to somebody about Jehovah, si no hablas de alguien sobre Jehovah as Francisco confounded the Jewish doctor this week así como Francisco pudo confrontarse al, al doctor judío. he said You're Jewish? Le dijo, ¿Tú eres judío? I thought you were Spanish. Yo que eras hispano. <laughs> Why can't you be Spanish and Jewish? ¿Por qué no puede ser hispano y judío? Why can't you be Spanish and Jewish? ¿Por qué no puede ser hispano y judío? The Jews have been there since the temple. Los judíos están desde el templo. They've been in Spain for a long time. Ellos están en España por mucho tiempo. So Francisco was telling this Jewish doctor. Francisco le está diciendo a este médico judío. How I don't eat pork. Como yo no como cerdo. I thought all you Spanish people ate pork. Yo pensaba que todas las personas de habla hispana. I don't eat pork because the Bible says not to eat pork. No como cerdo porque la Biblia dice no comer cerdo. Faith comes by hearing. La fe viene por escuchar. Francisco read the word. Francisco leyó la palabra de Dios. And decided that that would be good for his family. Y él decidió que esto era bueno para su familia. Because he read Jehovah's word. Porque leyó la palabra de Jehovah. And in the times that we're living in, people need more to be like this crazy Mexican. En los tiempos que estamos viviendo, necesitamos gente que sea más como este mexicano. I'm not lifting him up. No lo estoy alzando. Because he needs prayer just like everybody else. Él necesita oración como todo el mundo. He's living a life that was very different to come and walk with the king. But what we can say about Francisco this week, lo que podemos decir de Francisco esta semana, maybe not next week, no de pronto la próxima, but we hope next week too. Pero esperamos también la próxima semana también. What we're going to learn in today's message. Lo que vamos a aprender el día de hoy del Could you mensaje. please turn up the, the translator? I can't hear that well. What we can learn about Francisco today Lo que podemos aprender de Francisco el día de hoy is that he was a servant of the Most High God this week. Un siervo del Dios Altísimo. He was a servant. Un siervo. He did his job Hizo su trabajo. in the face of somebody, a Jewish person de una persona judía. Uh, wearing a kippah, supposed to be an Orthodox Jew. Usando una kippah que supuestamente es un judío ortodoxo. Francisco became a better Jew than this man. Francisco se convirtió en judío mejor que este hombre. He became a servant. Se convirtió en siervo. And then was worried when he called me. 
Y después estaba preocupado cuando me llamó. I didn't know he'd call you. Yo no sé que él te haya llamado. I said, Ariadna, I live for things like this. Le dije, Ariadna, yo vivo para cosas como esto. This guy made me think. Este hombre me hizo pensar. I actually had to play chess instead of checkers. Tenía que jugar ajedrez y no checkers. I had to really think and talk with he knew his stuff. Yo hablé con él, él sabía sus cosas. And I was able to speak his medical language. Y pude hablar su idioma de medicina. About the things that can happen to you when you take these vaccinations. Las cosas que pueden suceder cuando tomas estas vacunas. We've had two families that have come through this congregation. Hemos tenido dos familias que han ha venido a esta congregación. That their children were fine. Que sus hijos estaban bien. Perfectly talking. Perfectamente hablaban bien. Normal children. Niños normales. Within a week after taking some of these vaccinations. Después de haber tomado estas vacunas. Their kids completely changed. Sus niños completamente cambiaron. To being cambiaron. autistic. Y se convirtieron niños autistas. The medical community doesn't want that out there. La comunidad de medicina no quiere eso allá afuera. So Francisco didn't want this going on with this doctor. Y Francisco no quería eh, esta, esta conversación con este doctor. But he knew his job as a servant. Pero él sabía su trabajo como un siervo. A servant is to bring the light to whomever comes in your path. El siervo es llevar la luz a cualquier persona que se presente delante de su camino. And many people need signs and wonders. Muchas personas necesitan señales y maravillas. Especially Jewish people. Especialmente las personas judías. We need a lot of signs and wonders. Nosotros necesitamos muchas señales y maravillas. So as I was talking to this Jewish doctor, como le estaba dando con este doctor judío, I confounded him a little bit more. Lo confronté un poco más. I told him about what Carmen had testified about. Le dije lo que Carmen ha testificado anteriormente. About the person in her, it's a cousin, it's a cousin, right? That you want to pray over with the, the brain tumors? Okay. Somebody in the family. Alguien de la familia. How they went. Ellos fueron. And there was medical documentation. Y habían este documentales medicales. Of these blood clots in the person's brain. Estos coágulos de sangre que están en su cerebro. In The Santiago clan went up to pray. El grupo Santiago oró. <laughs> and to anoint the person with the oils. Y ungir esta persona con los aceites. And they put the pomegranate oil on the person's head. Le pusieron la granada sobre la cabeza de esta persona. The night, it was the night before, correct? La noche anterior. And they were supposed to go for surgery the next day. Y tenían que ir a la cirugía el próximo día. And before they went for surgery, they went for a CT scan before the surgery. Y antes de hacer la cirugía fueron a hacerle un cascan. And lo and behold. Increíble. They looked at the scan. Miraron los resultados de este scan. They said, "Come here." Dijeron, "Ven acá." Come here. Ven acá. Did you check the machine this morning? Revisaste la máquina esta mañana. Did you check the machine this morning? Revisaste la máquina esta mañana. Yes, sir. We checked it. Sí, señor, lo hicimos. Lo and behold, what was missing? Lo que estaba faltando. The person's brain. No. Cerebro de la persona. The clots in the brain were gone. Los cuábulos de sangre que están en el cerebro ya no se encuentran. So siendo el siervo. Is going and doing your job, es yendo y haciendo tu trabajo. Even though somebody might not even say thank you. Incluyendo si alguien no te dice gracias. Look at verse 20. Vean el versículo 20 de I nuevo. pray not only for these, but also for those who will trust in me because of their word. Amen. Amen. We trust in him. Confiamos en él. Because the word of God is true. Porque la palabra de Dios es verdadera. And we believe in this word of Jehovah because it is true. Y creemos en esta palabra de Jehová porque es verdadera. But Francisco could have been quiet. Pero Francisco pudo haberse mantenido callado. Carmen could have been quiet. Carmen se hubiera mantenido también callada. We could all be quiet. Todos podemos estar callados. But how would they believe if you did not tell them? ¿Cómo van a creer si tú no les dijiste a ellos? A lot of people believe in things because of the mob mentality. Muchas personas creen en las cosas por la mentalidad. Well, these 500 people say that this is true. Pero estas 500 personas dicen que eso es verdadero. Being a servant of Jehovah Siendo un siervo de Jehovah means sometimes separating yourself. Significa a veces separándote. Doing things because the word of God 
says to do things this way. Y haciendo las cosas porque la palabra de Dios dice que lo haga de esta manera. Well, many people don't have the courage to stand alone. Muchas personas no tienen la valentía en pararse de ellos solos. And Yeshua knew all about this. Y Yeshua sabía sobre todo esto. Look at verse 21. Ven el versículo 21, por favor. That they may all be one just as you, Father, are united with me and I with you. I pray that they may be united with us so that the world may believe that you sent me. Amen? Amen. What does be one mean? ¿Qué significa ser uno? You know, you ever see people with the I Heart Israel t-shirts? ¿Ha visto las personas que tienen las camisetas que dicen you know? yo amo Israel? It's like, what does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? If somebody says I Heart Israel or I love Israel. Que alguien dice yo amo a Israel. What does that statement mean? ¿Qué significa esto? I have no idea. No tengo ninguna idea. Same goes here. Lo mismo sucede aquí. What is Yeshua talking about? ¿Qué está hablando Yeshua aquí? Make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Hazlo uno así como tú, Padre, somos uno. Can we all be God? Podemos ser todos Dios. No. No. Just, huh. There's still boys and girls here, right? Todavía hay niños y niñas acá, ¿verdad? You're a boy, right, Josh? Eres un niño, ¿verdad, Josh? <laughs> Oscar, you're a boy? Oscar es un niño. I'm not checking, I'm just asking. <laughs> Oscar es un, un niño. Tony? I'm a man. He says, I'm a man. <laughs> Renary, are you an old boy? Or a muchacha? Eres un hombre o muchacha. Melissa, you're a girl, right? Melissa, you look like a girl. Una Adriana, niña. you're a girl? Adriana, eres una niña. I'm not checking, I'm just asking. No, estoy pensando, solo okay. estoy preguntando. So, so there's still girls and boys. So hay mujeres y hombres. What does Messiah mean? ¿Qué significa lo que se refiere al Mesías aquí? Make them as one. Hazlos como uno. As you and I are one. Así como tú y yo somos uno. There's still Jewish and Gentile bloodlines, right? Todavía hay linaje de sangre de judíos y gentiles. You got the Jewish people like myself. Tienes las personas judías como yo mismo. Of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. De Abraham, Isaac y Jacob. And then you have the Gentiles that are those that not are not born of that line. Y tienes los, gentil, los gentiles que no nacieron de ese linaje. We have a body. Tenemos un cuerpo. Is this body going to live forever? Ese cuerpo va a vivir para siempre. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This body ain't going to live forever. Ese cuerpo no va a vivir para siempre. But our spirits will. Pero nuestro espíritu sí. There's a body. Everybody's got a body. Hay un cuerpo. Todo el mundo tiene cuerpo. And each one of you have a bloodline in you. Y cada uno de ustedes tiene un linaje de sangre dentro de ustedes. But the body and the blood el cuerpo y la sangre are distinctly separate from our spirits. Son, separa son distintamente separados de nuestro espíritu. We got people from all different countries here today. Tenemos personas de diferentes países el día de hoy. And you got a body, right? Y tienes un cuerpo, ¿verdad? But we all have a spirit that can change. Todos tenemos un espíritu que puede cambiar. You can't change your bloodline. No puedes cambiar tu linaje de sangre. But what you can do pero lo que tú puedes hacer es cambiar tu Pero puedes cambiar tu espíritu. Hay algo más grande que nuestros cuerpos. It is our spirits. Y es nuestros espíritus. The thing that guides our body is our spirits. Lo que guía nuestro cuerpo es el espíritu. And this ruach, the spirit is called the ruach. Este espíritu se, se llama ruach. The ruach lives in each one of us. El ruach vive dentro en uno de nosotros. Betsy's is different than Evelyn's. El de Betsy es diferente al de Evelyn. Betsy's Ecuadorian. Betsy's de Ecuador. Evelyn is Puerto Kenya. Y Evelyn es de Puerto Rico. Definitely some different spirits there. Hay son espíritus <laughs> completamente diferentes. But they can all be Jewish. Pero todos pueden ser judíos. Betsy's never going to change that she was born in the beautiful country of Ecuador. Betsy nunca va a cambiar que nació en el bello país de Ecuador. Evelyn's never going to change that she was born in the great state of Puerto Rico. Y que Evelyn nunca puede cambiar que nació en el estado de Puerto Rico. It's not a state yet, it's its own sort of country. It's territory. territory, that's it, territory. Territorio. 
But they have changed something. Pero han cambiado algo. A spirit that wants to be a servant of God. Un espíritu que quiere ser siervo para Dios. See, this spirit, as it says in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. Este espíritu, como se encuentra en el libro de Ecclesiastes, capítulo 2, versículo 7. This spirit returns back este to heaven. Este espíritu regresa al cielo. This ruach that we have, Julia. Este ruach que está dentro de nosotros. Is going to return back to heaven. Va a regresar al cielo. To the place it originally came from. Del lugar originalmente donde vino. Look at verse 21 en el versículo 21 that they may all be one just as you father are united with me I with you I pray that they may be united with us so that the world may believe that you sent me amen amen that they may be one like us que sean, que sean uno como nosotros we see here Yeshua the Messiah talking aquí vemos al Mesías a Yeshua hablando but yet he's talking about his father pero está hablando sobre su padre and they are distinctly separate people y son personas completamente distintivamente diferentes or better word like entities son identidades but he's saying make them one like you and I are one él está diciendo haz dos uno como tú y yo somos uno What is the difference ¿Cuál es la diferencia between Yeshua and us? La diferencia entre Yeshua y nosotros. Something that he's praying about. Es algo que él está orando. Yeshua prays about this. Yeshua ora sobre esto. Make them one. Hazlo uno. We're going to learn what that means Vamos today. Vamos a aprender qué significa eso el día de hoy. Make them one like you and I are one. Hazlo uno así como tú y yo somos uno. How many people want Yeshua's prayer to come true today? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren que la oración de Yeshua se haga realidad el día de hoy? You know, this prayer has been a long time in making, though. Esta oración se demoró mucho para hacer. Did you ever wait for something to happen that you've been praying about a long time? ¿Has esperado en esperar algo que orase tienes que esperar un tiempo largo? Hey, Melissa, Melissa, <laughs> we are praying a long time for mom. Hemos estado orando mucho tiempo por tu mamá couple of years, right? Unos cuantos años, ¿verdad? Look who's sitting to your right. Mira quién está sentada a tu derecha. Prayers come true. Las oraciones se hacen realidad. Yeshua prayed about this. Yeshua oró sobre esto. Make them one. Hazlos uno. How do we become one ¿Cómo, with him? Cómo nos convertimos uno con él. He's not talking about physicalness here. Él no está hablando del aspecto físico. He's talking about a prayer that's a long time in happening. Es una oración que ha tomado mucho tiempo para que se realizara. Can we make his prayer come true? Podemos hacer que su oración sea realizada. Do we have the ability to make Yeshua's prayer come true today? Tenemos la habilidad de hacer la oración de Yeshua realidad el día de hoy. You have the ability. Tú tienes esa habilidad. You can make Messiah happy today. Puedes hacer el Mesías que esté contento. Ellen, do you want to make Messiah happy today? Ellen, quieres hacer que el Mesías esté contento. Mark, do you want to make Messiah happy today? Quieres hacer que el que el Mesías esté contento contigo el día de hoy. We have that ability here today. Tenemos la habilidad el día de hoy. But it takes being a servant like him. Pero toma tiempo ser un siervo como él. How blessed you would be. Qué bendecido serías tú. If you blessed Messiah today. Si bendicieras al Mesías el día de hoy. How blessed you will be. Qué bendecido serías si. If you make his face smile. Si hicieras su rostro sonreír. Make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Haz dos uno como tú y Dios, Padre, somos uno. I pray this. Father, Yo oro esto, Padre, that they may be one, que ellos puedan ser uno, like you and me. Como tú y yo. Look at verse 21. En el versículo 21, por favor. That they may all be one, just as you, Father, are united with me, and I with you. I pray that they may be united with us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. Amen. Amen. If we work together. Si trabajamos juntos. If we persevere together through storms. Si perseveramos juntos durante las tormentas. If we learn today how to really be servants of the King of Kings. Si aprendemos ser siervos verdaderamente del Rey de Reyes. We will put a smile on his face. Pondremos una sonrisa en su rostro. But what does Yeshua mean? ¿Qué es lo que se refiere a Yeshua? 
by this make them one. Que se, se refiere a do uno. You know, I love cake. Yo amo las tortas. How many people here love chocolate cake? ¿Cuánto usted le fascinan las tortas de chocolate? How many people here love chocolate cake? ¿Cuánto usted le fascinan las tortas de chocolate? Everybody here loves chocolate cake, right? Todo el mundo le gusta las tortas de chocolate. But weirdo doesn't like chocolate cake. Joshua, do you like chocolate cake? De chocolate. Yeah, man, he says. <laughs> Carmen, you don't like chocolate cake? You're weird. <laughs> But how do we get chocolate cake? Pero cómo adquirimos la torta de chocolate? We got to mix the ingredients together. Tenemos que mezclar los ingredientes. Put them in a mixing bowl, right, Charlie? Ponerlos en una cosa. Got to get the eggs. Y los huevos. Got to get the flour. La harina. You got to get some milk. La leche. You got to get a big bowl because we're going to make a big cake. Tienes que coger una vasija grande que vamos a hacer una torta grande. And then you need a big oven. Y te hace un horno grande. But you got to take those ingredients. Tienes que coger estos ingredientes. Mix them really well. Y mezclarlos muy bien. Oh, sort of like people coming from Guatemala. Así como las personas que vienen de Guatemala. Mexico. O México. Malta. The islands. Las islas. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Ecuador. De Ecuador. Mexico. De México. All these different places, you mix these ingredients together. De todas estas diferentes partes, eh, mezclas estos ingredientes. That we would confound the world. Así podemos confrontar al mundo. That the world would believe if. Si el mundo creyera sí. We are one. Si somos uno. Now, if we're making chocolate cake, si estamos haciendo torta de chocolate, this chocolate cake is good. La torta de chocolate es deliciosa. I have proclaimed that this chocolate cake is good. Reclamo que la torta de chocolate es deliciosa. Right, everybody, that, except for Carmen, what kind of cake do you like? ¿Qué tipo de torta te gusta? Huh? You like tres leche? Oh, yes, she said. Tres leche. Banana cake. Y torta de lemon cake. Lemon torta meringue limón. pie. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> cake. cake is from heaven. <laughs> Las tortas viene del cielo. But it takes ingredients. Los, eh, toma los ingredientes. What ingredients do we need? ¿Qué ingredientes necesitas? To make this cake. Para hacer esta torta. What ingredients do we need? ¿Qué ingredientes necesitamos? To be as one. Para ser uno. As Yeshua and the Father are one. Así como Yeshua el Padre son uno. What is he talking about? ¿De qué se está refiriendo él? You want to know what he's referencing? ¿Quieres saber de qué se refiere? Because this wasn't the first time this was said. Esta no es la primera vez que esto se dijo. Make them as one. Haz dos uno. As you and I, Father, are one. Así como tú, Padre, somos uno. Remember, Yeshua is a Jew. Recordemos que Yeshua es un he's judío. He's speaking to Jews. Está hablando a los judíos. What would he be saying and where is it from? ¿Qué es, qué es diciendo, ¿dónde vendría esto? Turn to Ezekiel chapter 37. Vamos al libro de Ezequiel capítulo 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezequiel capítulo 37. Verse 15 through 28. Versículo 15 al 28. Ezekiel 37. Ezequiel capítulo 37. Verse 15 through 28. Versículo 15 al 28. You're going to see what Yeshua is talking about. Van a ver lo que se le está, está And refiriendo. And you might be Yeshua. amazed. Y van a estar sorprendidos. Not many people know where this comes from. No muchas personas saben dónde viene esto. Ezekiel 37. Ezequiel 37. Verse 15 through 28. Versículo 15 al 28, por favor. The word of Jehovah came to me. You, son of man, take one stick and write on it. For Yehuda and those joined with him among the people of Israel. Next, take another stick and write on it for Yosef, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel who were joined with him. Finally, bring them together into a single stick so that they become one in your hand. When your people ask you, What all this means, tell them that Jehovah Elohim says this, I will take the stick of Yosef, which is in the hand of Ephraim, together with the tribes of Israel, and join with him and put them together with the stick of Yehuda and make them a single stick so they become one in my hand. The sticks on which you write 
are to be in your hand as they watch. They then say to them, that Jehovah Elohim says, I will take the people of Israel from among the nations where they have gone and gather them to get them from every side to bring them back to their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. And one king will be king for all of them. They will no longer be two nations and they will never again be divided into two kingdoms. They will never again defile themselves with their idols or detestable things or any of their transgressions. But I will save them from all the places where they have been living and sinning. And I will cleanse them so that they will be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them and all of them will have one shepherd. They will live by my rule and to keep and observe my regulations. They will live in the land... I gave to Yaakov, my servant, where your ancestors live. They will live there, they, their children, and their grandchildren forever. And David, my servant, will be their leader forever. I will make a covenant of the, a peace with them, an everlasting <laughs> covenant. And I will give to them, increase their numbers, and set my sanctuary among them forever. My home will be with them and I will be their God, and they will be my people. The nations will know that I am Jehovah, who sets Israel apart as holy, when my sanctuary is with them forever. Amen? It's a powerful piece of scripture. Es una escritura muy poderosa. Now let's take a look at what it means. Ahora vamos a ver qué significa. Look at verse 19. Ven el versículo 19, por favor. Tell them that Jehovah Elohim says this, I will take the stick of Yosef, which is in the hand of Ephraim, together with the tribes of Israel, who, jo who are joined with him, and put them together with the stick of Yehuda, and make them a single stick, so that they become one in my hand. Amen? Amen. Now there's something out there, which is called the two house theory. Hay algo allá afuera que se llama la teoría de las dos casas. I don't care about the two house theory. A mí no me importa sobre la teoría de las dos casas. Beth Goyim doesn't care about the two house theory. Beth Goyim no le importa sobre la teoría de las dos casas. The two house theory is that the Gentiles are one of these sticks and the Jews are another. La teoría de las dos casas es que este palo es el grupo judío, eh, judío y el otro los gentiles. What I care about is Lo que a mí me importa es How do you get those sticks together? ¿Cómo tú juntas estos palos? How do the two sticks become one stick? ¿Cómo estos dos palos se convierten en uno? If they are from different bloodlines, si son de diferente linaje de sangre, and there is only one covenant, si solamente hay un solo pacto, how do they become one stick? ¿Cómo se convierten en un solo palo? How do you make two sticks? ¿Cómo haces dos palos? I got my drumsticks. Tengo mis dos palos para tocar la batería. I got my drumsticks here. Tengo mis dos palos para How tocar la batería. How do I make these sticks? ¿Cómo hago estos palos? Become one in my hand. ¿Cómo lo hago que se conviertan uno en mi mano? I got How do I make the sticks come together? ¿Cómo hago que estos palos est estén juntos? Tony says glue them. <laughs> Tony dice que los le ponga goma. But Tony, pero Tony, if I glue the sticks together, si este pongo estos palos juntos, that's going to be something unnatural. Eso va a ser algo en que no va a ser natural. That you're putting in with the two sticks. Esta goma que le estás poniendo a estos dos palos. How do I put the two How do I put the two sticks together? ¿Cómo hago que estos dos palos estén juntos? To make them become one. Para que se convierten en uno. You tie them together. Los amarras juntos. With something that God has. De algo que Dios tiene. Then they will grow together with natural things. Y así va a crecer naturalmente con cosas naturales. How do you make the sticks grow together? ¿Cómo haces que esos dos palos crezcan? Not with gorilla glue. No con goma de gorila. Not with duco cement. O cemento de. You put 
You put the sticks together in the hand. Con esos dos palos juntos en tu mano. You wrap a rope around them. Y pones una cuerda alrededor de ellos. Like a seat seats. Así como los seat seats. Then the people will be of one mind. Entonces las personas van a ser una sola mente. One spirit. Un solo espíritu. From different nations. De diferentes naciones. How do we become one spirit? Como nos convertimos un solo espíritu. By what's tied around the stick. Lo que está amarra amarrando estos dos palos. But as you saw the seat seat come off. Cuando viste que los seat seat se cayó. How did the sticks come apart? Entonces, ¿cómo se separaron estos palos? How did the sticks get separated? ¿Cómo estos palos se separaron? If they're not bound together by a common thread. Si no están amarrados por un hilo común. How did the sticks, how did they become one? ¿Cómo se convirtieron en uno? As Yeshua and the Father are one. Así como Yeshua y el Padre son uno. The commandments of God. Los mandamientos de Dios. It doesn't matter where you come from. No importa donde tú vengas. It matters where you're going. Es lo que importa donde tú vas. It doesn't matter if you're from Mexico, Ecuador, Guatemala. It doesn't matter. No importa si eres de México, Guatemala o Ecuador. No importa. Make them as one, Marco, as Yeshua and the Father are one. Haz los uno así como Yeshua y el Padre son uno. You have to be bound with something that is natural. Tienes que estar amarrado con algo que es natural. Glue is not natural. Goma de pegar no es natural. Because if you take the cord away, si quitas el hilo, you can have the drumsticks again. Vas a tener otra vez dos palos para tocar la batería. And the thing about drumsticks is you could have separate things going on. Entonces lo que puedes hacer es que vas a tener dos cosas separadas. You could do whatever with the sticks. Puedes hacer lo que tú quieras con estos palos. But if they're one stick together, pero si están unidos, uno, in the hand of the Lord, en la mano del Señor, bound together with His cord, y están amarrados con la cuerda del Señor, then they'll be bound together as one. Entonces van a estar uno. What's the seat seat made of? De qué está hecho el seat seat? How did they get the seat seat originally? ¿Dónde adquieren el seat seat originalmente? Maybe by lamb's wool. Lo hacen de la de la. How did you make string back then? ¿Cómo hacían el hilo anteriormente? How did you make the string? ¿Cómo hacías el hilo anteriormente? It wasn't a vine. No lo sacaban de las hojas. You get the wool. Adquieres la lana. Look at verse 22. Ven el versículo 22. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. And one king will be king for all of them. They will no longer be two nations, and they will never again be divided into two kingdoms. Amen? Amen. This has yet to happen. Eso tiene que suceder. Because they will have one king, Van a tener un solo rey. and they will never be divided into two nations again. Y no van a ser entre dos naciones nunca más. For two people to come together, Para dos personas unirse. our ideologies must be be the same. Nuestras ideologías tienen que ser lo mismo. For us to live in peace. Para nosotros vivir en paz. As we do not have around the globe right now. Como no tenemos alrededor del mundo ahora. Because some people believe that abortion is not murder. Porque muchas personas creen que el aborto no es asesinato. And those of us who are not deceived by Satan know that it is murder. Y los que no somos engañados por Satanás sabemos que esto es asesinato. So how do one people come together? ¿Cómo hacemos que una sola persona se pongan se unan? We must all be thinking the same. Tenemos todos que pensar igual. When it comes to God's rules. Cuando se viene sobre las reglas de Dios. There must be a common goal. Tiene que haber un una meta en común. There must be a set way of living that we all agree upon. Tenemos que tener una forma de, de vivir que todos tenemos que estar de acuerdo. For if we don't, porque si no, when Israel has not agreed upon the rules of God, cuando Israel no está de acuerdo con las reglas de Dios, what happened to them? ¿Qué les pasó? God sent them away. Dios los mandó lejos. How do we make Jehovah happy today? ¿Cómo hacemos a Jehová contento el día de hoy? We must all agree. Todos tenemos que estar de acuerdo. That Torah is not only for the Jewish people, que el Torah no solamente es para el pueblo judío, but for everybody that Jehovah has made. Y para cualquier persona que Jehová hizo. If you, we can't live in community. Si no podemos vivir en comunidad. If we don't agree on that. Si no estamos de acuerdo a eso. We can't overcome 
the devil if we don't all agree with that. No podemos sobrepasar al diablo si no estamos de acuerdo con There esto. must be one way for all of us to be servants of the Most High God. Debe haber un solo camino para todos ser siervos del Dios Altísimo. Look at verse 22. En el versículo 22, por favor. I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. And one king will be king for all of them. There will no longer be two nations, and they will never again be divided into two kingdoms. Amen? Amen. If we're never going to be divided into two kingdoms again, si nunca vamos a ser en dos reinos, nunca más. we live under one king. Vivimos bajo un solo rey. One king has one set of rules for all his children. Un rey tiene un, un, un grupo de reglas para todos sus hijos. Let's say that again. Vamos a decir esto de nuevo. If we're all living under one king, si estamos viviendo bajo un rey, we can't have some believers doing Shabbat worship tener a otros creyentes del sábado haciendo adoración, and a whole bunch of other ones doing Sunday worship. Y otro grupo haciendo adoración los domingos. Well, then we can't have one king. No podemos tener un solo rey. But if make them as one as dos uno as you and I are one father así como tú y yo somos uno padre then we all must have the same goal so todos tenemos que tener la misma meta when the messianic Jewish believers those who really follow Messiah los creyentes mesiánicos que verdaderamente siguen al Mesías they did not celebrate celebrate Christmas ellos no celebraron la fiesta de Navidad but the church did pero la, la iglesia sí How How, how can we be one people? ¿Cómo podemos ser una sola persona? But even in here, Pero incluyendo aquí adentro, how can we be one people? ¿Cómo podemos ser un solo pueblo? Those online following us, los que están en la, en el internet, los que nos están siguiendo, how can we be one people? ¿Cómo podemos ser una, un solo pueblo? If we don't agree on a way of life, no podemos de acuerdo en una forma de vida. There is a woman who follows us from one of the southern states. Hay una mujer que nos, es, nos sigue desde el, de los estados del sur. And she's on a journey. Y está en una jornada. And the other couple of weeks ago we were talking about the head covering for y women. La semana pasada estábamos hablando sobre las mujeres cubrirse su cabeza. And she was convicted by the words. Y ella fue este, marcada por las palabras. For she is married. Porque ella está casada. But her husband doesn't follow the ways of the king. Pero su esposo no sigue los caminos del rey. But she was willing to cover her head su cabello and take abuse, verbal abuse from her husband y recibir este abuso verbal de su esposo because she wanted to make Yeshua happy. Ella quería que Yeshua fuera contento con ella. She's willing to be a servant of the Most High God ella está dispuesta a ser una sierva del Dios Altísimo. make them as one as you and I, Father, Are one. Look at verse 23 and 24. En el versículo 23 y 24, por favor. They will never again defile themselves with their idols, their detestable things, or any of their transgressions, but I will save them from all the places where they have been living and sinning. And I will cleanse them so that they will be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them and all of them will have one shepherd and they will live by my rulings and keep and observe my regulations. Amen? Amen. Some people might not believe en muchas personas que no creen that it was the seat seats fueron los sitsis that kept the sticks together. Que mantuvieron estos dos palos juntos. How do I prove it? ¿Cómo pruebo esto? Look at verse 24 again. Ven el versículo 24 de nuevo. My servant David will be king over them and all of them will have one shepherd. They will live by my rulings and keep and observe my regulations. Amen? Amen. What do the seat seat represent? ¿Qué representa los sitsis? My rulings. Mis reglas. My Commandments. Mis mandamientos. My regulations. Mis regulaciones. The kings, not me, Andrew, but the king of kings. El rey, no yo, and Andrew, sino el rey. But look at verse 24. En el versículo 24. It says, my servant David will be king over them. That's Mi it. Mi siervo David será rey sobre ellos. But when Ezekiel wrote this, cuando Ezequiel escribió esto, David was dead. David ya estaba muerto. 
When Ezekiel wrote this, put this into perspective, people. Pongan esto en perspectiva, por favor. David was dead. David ya estaba muerto. So, what is, what is Jehovah saying? ¿Qué está diciendo aquí Jehovah? My servant David will king, be king over them? Mi siervo David será rey sobre ellos. We're talking about reincarnation? Estamos hablando sobre la reencarnación. I don't think so. No lo creo. This verse speaks of Messiah. Este versículo habla sobre el Mesías. You can show that to the Jewish doctor. Les puedes mostrar esto a las personas al, do al doctor judío. It's a real good voice. <laughs> This speaks of the future king. Esto habla del, del rey que viene en el futuro. For since we are Jews, we do not believe in reincarnation. Nosotros somos judíos, no creemos en la reencarnación. Ezekiel lived after David. Y si que vivió después de David. But it also said one shepherd. Pero también dijo un pastor. That's why Yeshua said. Por eso Yeshua dijo. I am the shepherd. Yo soy el pastor. And my sheep know my voice. Y mis ovejas conocen mi voz. Because make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Haz dos uno así como tú y yo, Padre, somos uno. Look at verse 24. You might want to underline just that verse. <laughs> versículo 24. Le gustaría subrayar solamente ese versículo. My servant David will be king over them. And all of them will be one shepherd. They will live by my right rulings and keep and observe my regulations. Amen? Amen. Whose rulings? Las reglas de quién? The king's rulings. Las reglas del rey. This was referring to Yeshua. Eso se está refiriendo a Yeshua. Make them as one father. Esos uno, padre. These two sticks coming together. Esos dos palos uniéndose. Coming together as one stick. Uniéndose como un solo palo. Make them as one. Hazlos uno. Bind them together. Amárralos. Living by my rulings. Viviendo bajo mis reglas. The word for rulings there. La palabra para las reglas es. Is the word mishpat. La palabra mishpat. I'm going to read the definitions in English and Consuelo is going to read them in Espanol. Mm -hmm. yes. Mishpat. Judgment. Justice. Ordinance. <coughs> rectitude meaning attributes of God decision in law right privilege due as in legal money proper fitting measure fitness custom manner plan <inaudible> Definición, el juicio, la justicia, la ordenanza, la rectitud, atributos de Dios o del hombre, la decisión en el derecho, derecho, privilegio, deber, legal, adecuado, apropiado, medir, físico, de encargo, manera, el plan de. Make them as one following my mishpatim. Haciendo as dos uno para que yo siga mis mishpatim. Mishpatim. Oh, mishpatim. I'm sorry. Make them follow my plan. Que sigan mis planes. Make them follow my custom. Que sigan mis costumbres. What are the What is Jehovah's customs? ¿Cuáles son las costumbres de Jehovah? Seven holy days. Los siete fiestas santas. These are his customs. Estas son sus costumbres. Shabbat is his custom. Las, el sábado es su costumbre. How can we be servants of the Most High God? ¿Cómo podemos ser siervos del Dios Altísimo? If we are not following the same plan. Si no estamos siguiendo el mismo plan que él. The same mishpatim. Estos mismos mishpatims. It takes discipline. Toma disciplina. Even when you don't want to do it, it still takes discipline to do it. Y a menos que tú, incluyendo cuando los quieres hacer, toma disciplina para hacerlos. Mishpatim. Mishpatim. The same way of dealing out justice. La misma forma para lidiar lo que es la justicia. Mishpatim. The same ordinances. We must have the same ordinances. Mishpatim. La misma ordenanza. Tener las mismas ordenanzas que él. Make them as one. Haz los uno. As you and I. Así Father. como tú y yo, Padre. How many people want to do, make Yeshua happy today? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren ser a Yeshua contento el día de hoy? Amen. Regulations. Regulaciones. The Hebrew word is chuchat. La palabra. Am I say chuchat? Chuchat. Chuchat. It's almost like Japanese. Chuchat. Oh. 
What? <laughs> it means statute, ordinance, limits, enactments, something prescribed. Vivir por sus regulas, regulamientos. How do you say it? I'm sorry. Jujat. Jujat. Regalamiento ordenado. Jujat. Límite. Promulgación. Algo prescripto. All right, so I'll say hey there. Jujat. Jujat. You want super dad? Jujat. Go, 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 go. Regulations. Regulaciones. Enactments. Un reglamento. Make them as one. As dos uno. As you and I are one. Así como tú y yo somos uno. Enact in their lives. Actuar en sus vidas. The rules. Las reglas. For themselves. Para ellos mismos. For their children. Para sus hijos. For their children's children. Para los hijos de sus hijos. Then we will be one. Entonces ahí seremos uno. Now Melissa. Ahora There's a lot dijo, on your plate now. Hay mucho en tu plato el día de hoy. We prayed. Or, otros oramos. We prayed. Grandma, Ahora, we prayed. Abuela, Abuelita, oramos. we prayed. Abuelita, oramos. Alabanza de Dios. <laughs> And here. Y aquí. Tu hija. Your daughter. <laughs> is sitting there. Está sentada ahí. But now, Melissa. Pero ahora, Melissa. You have to follow God's commandments. Tienes que seguir los mandamientos de Dios. And be the best daughter mom could ever want. Y ser la mejor hija que tu mamá desea tener. It's a big order. Es una ordenanza muy grande. And mom will then become the best mother she could possibly be. Y tu mamá va a ser la mejor mamá que ella puede ser. And we'll teach you how to do it. Te vamos a enseñar cómo puedes hacerlo. You will not have to do it alone. No, puedes, no tienes que hacerlo sola. Because we are one, echad. Nosotros somos uno, echad. 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 It's, a, you know, it's not a pretty language. Like Spanish is sort of nice. <laughs> Hebrew is echad. <laughs> echad. Echad. <laughs> It says something about the regulations, something prescribed. Habla de las regulaciones, algo prescripto. If we are separated for the feast of Pesach, si estamos separados para la fiesta de la Pascua, what is something that is prescribed for each of our homes? Que es algo prescrito para nuestras casas. We got to eat the lamb. Tenemos que comer el cordero. There's something we got to put on the door. Tenemos que poner algo en la puerta. We got to put the blood of the lamb on the door. Tienes que poner la sangre del cordero en tu puerta. It is something prescribed. It is an ordinance. Es algo prescrito, una ordenanza. We have to be one as Yeshua and the Father are one. Tenemos que ser uno así como Yeshua y el Padre son uno. Look at verse 23, please. En el versículo 23, por favor. They will never again defile themselves with their idols, their detestable things, or any of their transgressions, but I will save them <coughs> from all the places where they have been living and sinning, and I will cleanse them so that they will be my people and I will be their God. Amen? Amen. How is he going to cleanse us? ¿Cómo nos va a limpiar? How does Jehovah cleanse us from the pagan things that are in our lives? ¿Cómo Jehová nos limpia las cosas paganas que están en nuestras vidas? How does he do that? ¿Cómo él hace esto? See, to learn how to rightly divide the word of God. Dios supo cómo dividir la palabra correctamente. If you're reading the New Testament, you're one of those New Testament people. Si estás leyendo el Nuevo Testamento, eres las personas que leen el Nuevo Testamento. We don't need the Old Testament anymore. We're, I'm a New Testament person. <laughs> Necesitamos el Antiguo Testamento, oh, necesitamos el Nuevo Testamento. I hate those me. churches with a passion that only give out half a Bible. <laughs> Odio esas iglesias con una pasión que solamente dan la mitad de la Biblia. You only need the New Testament. Solamente necesitas el Nuevo Testamento. Well, then what does Yeshua mean by make them one? ¿Qué significa cuando huh? dice haz dos uno? Speak to the hand. Habla la talking. mano. No te voy a dar. All right, now we went back regresamos to the prophets a los profetas but in the prophet the prophet says something los profetas el profeta dice algo from Jehovah he says something de Jehová dice algo he says I'm going to cleanse them él dice los voy a limpiar what we all got to take a shower now ahora tenemos todo que bañar no lo 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 what, what does that mean qué significa esto you got to take a bath margarita tienes que bañarte margarita Ellen what 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 is he talking about qué se refiere Ellen 
Let's rightly divide the word of God. Vamos a dividir la palabra de Dios correctamente. It's a two-step process. Es un proceso de dos pasos. See, it's like taking a shower. Es como tomarte tomar tu baño. You got to turn the water on before you get in there. Tienes que abrir el agua antes de entrar. Okay, then you start washing, right? Y pues empiezas a lavar. You know, some people like my son get out of the shower and they forget to dry off in the shower. A muchas personas como que se olvidan secarse en todo el baño. Take the towel and dry off while you're in there. Entonces es ahí, usa la toalla para secarte. That way it's not all on the rug. <laughs> y así no está sobre la alfombra. So what's this two-step process? ¿Cuál es el proceso de dos pasos? Yeshua says make them one. Yeshua dice haz dos uno. We've now discovered Ahora descubrimos that there's two sticks que hay dos palos bringing two peoples together. Uniendo a dos personas. How were the sticks bound together? ¿Cómo son estos eh, palos amarrados? By the sitziot. Por los sitzios. But then it says cleansing. Pero después habla limpiar. Let's rightly divide the word. Vamos a correctamente dividir la palabra. Turn to Deuteronomy, Devarim, chapter 30. Vamos a Deuteronomio capítulo 30. Deuteronomy, Devarim. Deuteronomio capítulo 30. Chapter 30. Capítulo 30. Anybody getting anything so far? ¿Están entendiendo algo? You're glad you came out today. ¿Están contentos que glad están you aquí? braved it finally and got your buttocks here. <laughs> Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomio 30. Verse 11 through 20. Versículo 11 al 20. 11 al 20. Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomio 30. Devarim 30, verse 11 through 20. Versículo 11 al 20. When you got it, say amen. amen. For this is a mitzvah which I'm giving you today is not too hard for you. It is not beyond your reach. It isn't the sky so that you need to ask, who will go up to the sky for us and bring it, to, bring it to us and make us hear it so that we can obey it? Likewise, it isn't beyond the sea so that you need to ask, who will cross the sea for us and bring it to us and make us hear it so that we can obey it? On the contrary, the word is very close to you in your mouth, even in your heart. Therefore, you can do it. Look, I am presenting you today with on one hand life and good and on the other hand death and evil. In that I am ordering you today to love Elohi Jehovah Elohim, to follow his ways and to obey his mitzvot, regulations, and rulings. For if you do, you will live and increase your numbers and Jehovah your Elohim will bless you in the land you are entering in order to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away, if you refuse to listen, If you are drawn away, just prostrate yourselves to other gods and serve them. I'm announcing to you today that you will certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the yard and to enter to pos and possess. I call on heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have presented you with life and death, a blessing and a curse. Therefore, choose life so that you will live, you and your descendants, loving Jehovah Elohim, paying attention to what he says and clinging to him. For that is the purpose of your life. On this depends the length of time you will live in your land. Jehovah swore he would give to your ancestors Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Amen? Amen. Look closer at verse 15, please. Vamos a ver cercamente el versículo 15, por favor. Look, I am presenting you today with on one hand life and good And on the other, death and evil. Amen? Amen. To be as one as Yeshua, Yeshua and the Father are. Ser uno como Yeshua y el Padre son. He's presenting you life and death. Te está presentando la vida y la muerte. How do you get cleansed? ¿Cómo vas a ser limpio? The commandments los, of God. Los mandamientos de Dios. The commandments of God. Los mandamientos de Dios. They bring us life. Nos trajo vida. They bring us prosperity. Nos trae prosperidad. They bring us children. Nos trae hijos. They bring us shalom in our homes. Nos trae shalom, paz en nuestras casas. Make them as one. As dos uno. As you and I, Father, are one. Así como tú y Padre somos uno. What would bind two different peoples together? ¿Qué va a unir a dos personas completamente diferente? What on earth would bind a Puerto Rican and a Cuban together? ¿Qué lo que <laughs> ¿Qué en la tierra puede unir That a una persona de Puerto Rico y, y de Cuba? <laughs> what's going to bind you? What's going to bind you together? ¿Qué te va a unir? 
This is the only thing that's going to keep you together. Esto es lo único que te va a mantener unido. Because the Cuban people and the Puerto Rican people are very different. Las personas de Puerto Rico y las personas de Cuba son completamente Although they diferentes. Although they both like baseball Los a lot. Los dos les gusta el baseball. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> Don't eat Domino's. It's terrible. It's not even pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Make them as one. How are you going to stay together? Hazlos uno. ¿Cómo te va, va a mantenerte junto? With the commandments of God. Los mandamientos de Dios. What would cleanse us before the living God? Que nos va a limpiar delante del Dios vivo. Only the commandments of God. Solamente los mandamientos the de Dios. The word of God. La palabra de Dios. In the beginning was the word. En el principio estaba la palabra. And the word was with God. La, la palabra estaba con Dios. And the word was God. Y la palabra era Dios. What does this represent? ¿Qué representa esto? The word of God. La palabra de Dios. The commandments of him. Los mandamientos de Dios. What is good? ¿Qué es bueno? He's presenting good and evil. Está presentando lo bueno y lo malo. What is good? ¿Qué es bueno? The commandments of God are good. Los mandamientos de Dios son buenos. What is evil? ¿Qué es malo? Not following the commandments of God. No siguiendo los mandamientos de Dios. Make them as one. Hazlos uno. You want to be one with your parents? ¿Quieres ser uno con tus padres? How are you going to be one with your parents? ¿Cómo vas a ser uno con tus padres? You're going to be a good child. Vas a ser un buen hijo. We're going to grandma's house, I would tell Connor and Tristan. <laughs> Vamos para la casa de la le decía Connor y a Tristan. Grandma has a lot of expensive things. La abuela tiene muchas cosas muy, muy caras. In the living room. En su sala. You are not going to touch Anything. No vas a tocar nada. Or we will talk later. Pues no vamos a hablar después. <laughs> How do we become one? ¿Cómo nos convertimos uno? Did Connor and Tristan touch anything? No. Connor y Tristan tocaron algo, no. They got near it. I said, Connor. Se acercaba a ellos, decía Connor, te estoy mirando. <laughs> Connor, <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Do not touch. No toques nada. We were of one mind and one spirit at that point. Éramos <laughs> solamente un espíritu en ese momento. Right pants. Right pants. Do I get an amen, pants? <laughs> Do I get an amen, pants? <laughs> How do we become one with the Father and Yeshua? ¿Cómo nos convertimos uno con el Padre y Yeshua? Look at verse 16. En el versículo 16, por favor. And, and I'm ordering you today to love Jehovah Elohim to follow his ways and to obey his mitzvot, regulations, rulings. For if you do, you will live and increase your numbers and Jehovah your Elohim will bless you in the land you are entering in order to take possession of it. Amen? Amen. If you love. Si tú amas. What's the definition of love? ¿Cuál es el significado de amor? Obey. Obedecer. The mitzvot los mandamientos the regulations regulaciones and the rulings y las reglas how do you love god como amas a dios you obey the mitzvot obedece sus mandamientos the regulations regulaciones and the rulings y sus decretos this is how we become one people así nos convertimos un solo pueblo how do you bind the two sticks together como unes esos dos palos how will they grow together as one people como van a crecer como dos o como un solo pueblo see if you put the gorilla glue between the two sticks si pones la goma de pegar de gorila yes they will be palos, one stick van a ser un solo palo but they will never grow together nunca van a crecer juntos But if you bind them together si los unes, with God's love, con el amor de Dios, with God's commandments, which mandan, is the definition of love, y los mandamientos de Dios, que es el significado de amor, then they will grow together as one people. Así van a poder crecer juntos como un solo pueblo. Then we will be servants of the Most High God. Entonces seremos siervos del Dios Altísimo. 
But if, you know, Francisco's got that hair thing going on here. Si Francisco tiene eso con su cabello. You know, last week he had the hair thing. <laughs> Now he's got the hair thing. Tiene <laughs> con su cabello. You know, but I, I can't, I can't hang with Francisco. No puedo estar alrededor de Francisco. Because he keeps changing his hair. Porque se cambia su peinado todos no, los días. Last week it was like this. La semana pasada estaba. And this week it's like this. Y esta semana está así. I don't know what he's gonna, next week he's gonna be like this. Próxima semana va a estar así. Or maybe it's going to be a call over. We all have to be together. We all have to be loving of one another. How do I love my neighbor? Francisco like this. <laughs> We must both agree on the commandments of God. How do we serve together? Como servimos juntos. We must be a chad on God's rules. Tenemos que ser chad con las reglas de Dios. I must love my brother. Tengo que amar a mi hermano. Because he is my brother. Porque él es mi hermano. Because we agree on the commandments. Porque estamos de acuerdo con los mandamientos. I don't care about his personality. No me importa su personalidad. That doesn't matter to me. Eso no me importa. He is my brother in the Lord and I will help him because he is my brother in the Lord. Él es mi hermano en el Señor y lo voy a ayudar porque es mi hermano en el Señor. Make them as one. As dos uno. As you and I are one. Así como tú y yo somos uno. As long as we agree on the commandments, we are blood brothers. Como mientras estemos de acuerdo con los mandamientos somos hermanos de sangre. It doesn't matter that he's Mexican. No importa si eres de México. It doesn't matter that he did the funny thing with his hair last week. No importa si hace esa cosa chistosa con su cabello. It doesn't matter that he changed it this week. No importa si él cambió el peinado esta semana. That's just an outward thing. Eso es una cosa de él. What matters? Lo que importa. Is that he was a servant of the Lord. Él fue un siervo del Señor. To a Jew that's going to hell this week. Para un judío que vaya al infierno esta semana. He was Francisco the Mexican Jew. Francisco el judío mexicano was better than the orthodox Jew. Fue mejor que el judío ortodoxo. Because he wouldn't put pig in his body. Porque no, no puso el cerdo en su cuerpo. The rabbis say el rabino dice that you could put it in a vaccination. Que tú lo puedes poner en una vacuna. Yeah, I see it too, man. Sí, yo lo veo también. What are you talking about? ¿Qué estás hablando? God said don't touch the pig. Dios dijo no toques el cerdo. Well, I'm just putting it into my bloodstream. Solamente lo estoy poniendo en mi en mi sangre. So I said to the doctor. Yo le dije al doctor. Let's talk about the digestive system. Vamos a hablar del el sistema digestivo. Let me explain some anatomy and physiology to you. I worked in medicine for eight years. I said to him. Voy a explicarte su anatomía y fisiología. Trabajé en la medicina por ocho años. You chew the pig. Comes mascas el cerdo. It goes down your esophagus. Y se baja por tu esófago. It churns up in your stomach. Y está en tu estómago. And then it goes into your intestines. Y entonces entra en tu intestino. Which then it goes into your blood system. Entonces entra tu eh, sistema sanguíneo. Did you touch the pig? Tocaste el cerdo. There you go. Sí. So if you're injecting it into your vein, lo estás inyectando en tus venas. It's the same as eating a ham sandwich. Es lo mismo cuando estás comiendo un sándwich de jamón. Checkmate. Ajá, que mate. Checkmate. Ajá, que mate. Well, I can see your point there, he says. Puedo ver lo que te refieres, dice. Make them as one. Hazlos uno. How do we get bound together? ¿Cómo nos unimos? Is it by rice, Francisco? Es por arroz. Francisco makes Mexican rice. Francisco hace arroz mexicano. We make in America minute rice. Aquí hacemos arroz americano. <laughs> you know, we make mashed potatoes. Hacemos puré de papa. How do we become one and not get pruned off? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer uno y no quemarnos? We must love the same way. Tenemos que amar la misma manera. What is God's definition of love? ¿Cuál es el significado de amor? Following his commandments. Siguiendo sus mandamientos. His regulations. Sus regulaciones. And his rulings. Y sus decretos. Turn to John 15. Vamos a Juan capítulo 15. John 15. Juan capítulo 15. You getting anything so far today? You're learning something, Adriana. I'm going to pick on you next. Don't think you're because you're over there in the corner. I don't see you. Mm. You were coming where nobody else was. Very good. There will be major blessings in your life one day, young lady. 
And you'll see why when we get to section 3. John 15. Juan capítulo 15. Verse 1 through 15. Versículo del 1 al 15. Everybody got it? Say amen. No tenga digan amen, por favor. I am the real vine and my father is the gardener. Every branch which is part of me but fails to bear fruit, he cuts off. And every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruits. Right now, because of the word which I have spoken to you, you are being pruned. Stay united with me as I will with you. For just as a branch can't put forth fruit by itself apart from the vine, so you can't bear fruit apart from me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit because apart from me you can't do a thing. Unless a person remains united with me, he is thrown away like a branch and dries up. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire where they are burned up. If you remain united with me, and my words with you, then ask whatever you want, and it will happen for you. This is how my Father is glorified in your bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove to be my Talmudim. Just as my Father has loved me, I too have loved you, and I stay in you, uh, have loved you, so stay in my love. If you keep my commands, you will stay in my love. Just as I kept my Father's commands, I stay and stay in His love. I have said this to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy will be complete. Amen? Amen. How many people want a complete joy today? Ustedes una, una oh. you might, let's look at verse 5. Vamos al versículo cinco, por favor. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit because apart from me you can't do a thing. Amen? How do we stay united? ¿Cómo nos mantenemos unidos? How do we stay united? ¿Cómo nos mantenemos unidos? Well, one person could be going for it our time. Una persona puede estar yendo de esa manera. And some people could be keeping other time. Entonces, otra persona van a mantener otro tiempo. How do we stay united? ¿Cómo nos mantenemos unidos? Everybody's got to be doing the same thing. Todo mundo tiene que estar haciendo las mismas cosas. If we could understand that for a worship team, si podemos entender eso como un grupo de adoración. You know, because sometimes our worship team we can't hear each other well. A veces el grupo de adoración no se puede escuchar. The tambourine's going one tempo. La pandereta está haciendo otro tempo. It's trying to stamp his foot to get the same tempo. James playing some other tempo. James está tocando otro tempo. And the drums are just too daggone loud. Everybody la told me. La batería está muy alta. <laughs> And that was a totally different tempo. Entonces es un tempo completamente diferente. But how do we get into the presence of the Lord? Pero cómo entramos a la presencia de Dios? We all came together as one group. Nos unimos todos como un solo grupo. How do you stay united with the Lord? ¿Cómo te mantienes unido con el Señor? We must follow Yeshua's example. Tenemos que seguir el ejemplo de Yeshua. Not Paul's example. No el ejemplo de Pablo. Yeshua is Messiah. Yeshua es el Mesías. Who makes us one? Que nos hace uno. Jehovah makes us one people. Jehovah nos hace una sola. What binds us together? Que nos une nosotros. His commandments. Sus mandamientos. Yeshua said, He is the one who prunes you. Yeshua dice que eres el que te. Yeshua da. said, I don't prune you. How do you say prune? Uh, prune was in uh, verse 2. Verse 2. Well, it says pampano. Fruto. But cutting off a part of the branch. Pruning is cutting off okay, a part of a branch. Yes, so what would that word be? Pam, pampano. Pampan. Pampan. Okay. Pampan. <laughs> How does that's he... Pampano? Yes. That's, I How does he pampano you? <laughs> <laughs> How does he prune us? <laughs> okay. How does he prune us? Nos hace when, 
You're not following his commandments. Cuando estás siguiendo sus mandamientos. He's going to start pruning you. Te va a empezar a, a, a and making that bush smaller. Y hacer esa, ese árbol más pequeño. Until finally he's got to cut the bush out altogether. Hasta que finalmente tiene que cortarlo de raíz. Look at verse 6. En el versículo 6. Unless a person remains united with me, he is thrown away like a branch and dries up. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire where they are burned up. Amen? Amen. Yeshua says a person there. Yeshua menciona una persona. That means men and women have a right to choose. Significa que el hombre y la mujer tienen el derecho de escoger. Unless a person remains united with me. A menos que una persona se mantenga unido a él. We all Each one of us Cada uno de nosotros are in charge of our destiny. Estamos en, encargados de nuestros propios destinos. Yes, in marriage you are one person. Si en el matrimonio eres una sola persona. But when you die, pero cuando mueras, she is no longer going to be your wife in heaven. Ella no va a ser más tu esposa en el cielo. Esther, you're going to be free in heaven. Esther, vas a estar libre en el cielo. Kelly's going to be free in heaven from me. Kelly va a estar libre del cielo con el cielo de mí. You're going to stand alone before the king. Vas a estar parado sola delante del rey. You have the choice and the option to be united with Messiah. Tú tienes la decisión y para escoger y estar unido con el Mesías. Just like that woman from the south. Así como esa mujer del sur. Who decided to cover her head. Que decidió cubrir su cabeza. Because she's married. Porque ella está casada. She was showing that somebody had authority over her. Y estaba mostrando que alguien tiene autoridad sobre ella. And even though her pagan husband didn't like it. Y, y sabiendo que su esposo pagano no le gustaba. She still honored her marriage commitment. Y ella todavía eh, honró su matrimonio. And that the greater commandments that came from heaven. Y los mandamientos grandes que venían del cielo. She chose not to be pruned off from the Lord. Why does Yeshua, why does Jehovah say, Jehovah dice, choose life in chapter 30 of Deuteronomy? Porque dice escoge vida en el capítulo 30 de Deuteronomio. After Deuteronomy 28, the blessings and the curses. Después de Deuteronomio 28, donde están las bendiciones y las maldiciones. He exhorts you after telling you everything that's going to happen. Él te avisa lo que va a suceder después. En Deuteronomio 28, it gives you blessings. En Deuteronomio 28 te dice las bendiciones. And curses. Y las maldiciones. And then in chapter 30, después en el capítulo 30, we are exhorted to choose life. Somos es, 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 exhortados para decidir la vida. To be a servant of the Lord. Para ser un siervo del Señor. Because if you don't, si no lo haces, you're going to be pruned off. Vas a ser cortado. And where are you going to be? Y dónde vas a estar? In the fire. En el fuego. Where's the fire, people, that he's talking about? ¿Dónde está el fuego a qué se refiere él? Sheol. Sheol. He's talking about hell. Está hablando sobre el infierno. Look at verse 7 and 8. En el versículo 7 y 8, por favor. If you remain united with me and my words with you, then ask whatever you want, and it will happen for you. This is how my Father is glorified, in you bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove you are my Talmudin. Amen. How are you going to prove you're his Talmudin? ¿Cómo vas a probar que eres su discípulo? How are you going to prove this? ¿Cómo vas a probar esto? You're going to be a, an obedient servant. Vas a ser un siervo obediente. You're going to come to Shabbat when you're supposed to go to Shabbat. Vas a venir los sábados cuando tienes que venir los sábados. If you go, if you go to work sick. Si vas enfermo, vas a trabajar enfermo. Why don't you come to congregation on Shabbat sick? Entonces, ¿por qué no hacen a la congregación el sábado? Well, I might make everybody else sick. Voy a hacer a las otras personas que estén enfermas. Well, it was okay to make everybody at work sick. Está bien enfermar a las otras personas en el trabajo. Or did the God of money was more your God? O el Dios del dinero era más tu Dios. Jehovah says, do not forsake the assembly of the saints on his Shabbat. Yeshua dice, no abandone la asamblea de Dios en el sábado. Prove you're his Talmudin. Prueba que tú eres su discípulo. Nothing stops my Shabbat, not anything. Nada para mi, mi sábado, nada. Nothing is going to stop my Shabbat. Nada va a parar mi sábado. Even if they put a gun to my head. No importa si pongan una pistola en mi cabeza. What, what happens if they put a gun to my head? What, what, what will I say? ¿Qué pasa si ponen un arma en mi cabeza? Go ahead, make my day. Sí, está bien, haz mi día. I am not afraid of death. No tengo, tengo miedo a la muerte. I'm not afraid of heights, I'm afraid of widths. No tengo miedo a las alturas, sino a lo ancho. What's 
Prove you're his Talmudin. Prueba que tú eres su discípulo. What's the very first thing called holy? Que lo primero que se llama santo. Shabbat. El sábado. I'm united soy with un, the king. Soy unido con el rey. Prove you're his Talmudin. Prueba que tú eres su discípulo. Nothing stops me. Nada me va a parar. Yeshua said, make them as one. Yeshua dice, hazlo como uno. How many people want to be one with the king today? ¿Cuántos ustedes quieren ser uno con el rey el día de hoy? Look at verse 10. Vean el versículo 10, por favor. If you keep my commands, you will stay in my love, just as I kept my father's commands and stay in his love. Amen? Amen. What's the definition of love? ¿Cuál es el significado de amor? Keeping God's commandments. Mantener, mantener los mandamientos de Dios. I love Jesus. Yo amo a Jesús. I, I'm just covered in the blood of the Lamb. Estoy cubierto con la sangre del cordero. I, I'm just. Are you covering my brother in the blood of the Lamb? Estoy cubierto con la sangre del cordero, hermano. How do you get covered in the blood of the Lamb? ¿Cómo quieres ser cubierto con la sangre del cordero? I got to give up sin, right? Tengo que dejar el pecado, verdad? What sin, church people? ¿Cuál es el pecado, la gente de la iglesia? Well, fornication is sin. Fornicación es pecado. Well, um, let me ask a question. Voy a hacer una pregunta. Um, you say we're under grace. Tú dices que estamos bajo gracia. Can I go back to that fornication once I accept Jesus in my heart? Puedo regresar a esa fornicación cuando acepta a Jesús en mi corazón. No, you can't. No, no lo puedes. You're legalistic. Eres una persona legalística. What's the definition of love? ¿Qué es el significado de amor? I'm not I'm not legalistic. Yo no soy legalista. I'm love-tastic. Yo, what? It's a new word, love-tastic. Uh, love-tastic. It's not a real word. Okay. I'm making it up. <laughs> like, what word is Amorástico, okay. It's, okay. it's love, but it's fantastic. Love-tastic. Okay. Amorástico, amor y fantástico. I'm not legalistic. No soy legalista. I'm love-tastic. Soy am amor y fantástico. Because these things are fantastic. Porque esas cosas son fantásticas. How do you get blessed? ¿Cómo vas a la bendición? Staying in his love. Manteniéndose en, sus, en, en su amor. But some people are not ready for it. Pero muchas personas no están listos para eso. Section 2. Sección 2. Did you learn from section 1? Aprendieron en la sección 1. We're now going to build on that. Ahora vamos a construir. It might make, make some esto. people a little uh, angry today. Va a ser un poquito a las personas incómodas y furiosas el día de hoy. I don't care. No me importa. I want you to grow. Yo quiero que crezcas. Some people may not be ready for Muchas this. personas no están listas. But you're not the first. Tú no eres los primeros. Turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Vamos a Primera de Corintios capítulo 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, please. Primera de Corintios capítulo 3. Verse 1 through 3. Versículo del 1 al 3. First Corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 through 3. Primera de Corintios capítulo 3 versículo del 1 al 3. First Corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 through 3. When you got it say amen please. No lo tengan digan amén por favor. Thank you. Got it? Go to Romans and make a right. First Corinthians 3 verses 1 through 3. Primera de Corintios capítulo 3 versículo el 1 al 3 por favor. As for me brothers I couldn't talk to you as spiritual people but as worldly people as babies so far as experience with the Messiah is concerned. I gave you milk not solid food because you were not ready for it but you aren't ready for it now either for you're still worldly Isn't it obvious from all the jealousy and quarreling among you that you are worldly and living by merely human standards? Amen? amen. Look at, amen. amen. I didn't write it. Don't get mad at me. My cousin did. Yo no lo escribí, lo escribió mi primo. No sé My cousin Pauline wrote conmigo. this. Look at verse 1. En el versículo 1, por favor. As for me, brothers, I couldn't talk to you as spiritual people, but as worldly people. As babies. So far as experience with the Messiah is concer concerned, amen? Amen. Worldly people look at things differently than we in the body do. La gente del mundo ve las cosas diferentes como nosotros del cuerpo lo vemos. Worldly people want honor. La gente del mundo quiere honor. Dignity. Dignidad. 
They want uh, trophies, awards. Quieren trofeos, premios. They want money, they want prestige. Quieren dinero, prestigio. This is what Shaul is talking about. Esto es lo que se refiere Pablo. And he was talking to the Messianic congregation at Corinth. Le está hablando a la congregación mesiánica de Corintios. He was talking to a bunch of baby believers. Le estaba hablando a un grupo de creyentes bebés. He was angry with them. Le estaba enojado con ellos. And had to talk to them like pagans. Tenía que hablarle a ellos como si fueran paganos. Instead of two true children of God. Como hijos verdaderos de Dios. What are you doing things for? Porque están haciendo estas cosas. Why did you do that for your brother or sister? Porque hiciste eso para tu hermano o tu hermana. And now you want to take it all back. Ahora quieres todo de vuelta. You know, thinking worldly, he says. Estás pensando en forma mundial. And mundana. he had to start talking to them like they were pagans. Tenía que hablar a ellos como si fueran paganos. But, but, but I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Yo estoy cubierto bajo la sangre de, de Jesús. I believe in, I believe in Messiah, Yeshua. Yo creo en el Mesías, en Yeshua. If you're working on a project for the kingdom of God. Si tú estás trabajando por un proyecto para el reino de Dios. If we are working here for something of a project of God. Si estamos trabajando aquí para un proyecto para el reino de Dios. And there is somebody with more experience than you. Si hay alguien que tiene más experiencia que tú. First and foremost in the in years of Messiah. Primero y todo en los años del Mesías. You yield to that person. Tú te inclinas a esa persona. If somebody has been walking with Messiah in a messianic way for five years, si alguien está caminando con el Mesías por cinco años, and you've been walking for one year with the Messiah, y estás caminando tú por un, en un año con el Mesías, you will yield to their eldership. Tú te vas a inclinar al, al, al liderazgo que ellos And tienen. I don't care if you're older than that person. No importa si tú eres mayor que esa persona. This is what, what Shaul is talking about. Esto es lo que está hablando Pablo. Our goal, if we're doing a project here for the Lord, nuestra meta si estamos haciendo un proyecto para el Señor, is to be servants of the Lord. Es ser siervos del Señor. And we are to do it to the best of our ability, or don't do it here. Y hacerlo lo mejor de nuestra habilidad o no hacerlo. My king is not worthy of garbage. Mi rey no es digno de basura. We need to do things to the best of our ability. Tenemos que hacer las cosas lo mejor de nuestra habilidad. Look at verse one again. En el versículo 1 de nuevo, por favor. As for me, brothers, I can't talk, I couldn't talk to you as spiritual people, but as worldly people, as babies, so far as experience with the Messiah is concerned. Amen? Amen. We should want to do things better than the world. Nosotros debemos desear hacer las cosas mejores que el mundo. To the best of our abilities. A lo mejor de nuestra habilidad. And if we don't have the abilities, we should want to get si no tenemos las habilidades, tenemos que desear adquirir estas habilidades. Everybody prays, uh, you know, I want healing, uh, uh, I, I want, I want this Lord, I want that Lord, I want this Lord, I want that Lord. Todo el mundo dice, yo quiero sanación, señor, quiero esto, quiero esto, quiero lo otro, quiero lo otro. But you're not willing to put the time in. Pero no estás dispuesto a poner el tiempo. To do something to the best of your ability. Para hacer algo lo mejor de tu habilidad. A lot of people are willing to run their mouths. Muchas personas están dispuestas a dejar. A, a run a their mouths. Hablar. Y hablar, y hablar. There was used to be this guy here. His name was Carlos. Había un nombre aquí que venía se llamaba Carlos. We called him Peruvalos. Le llamamos Peruvalos. Because we had a whole bunch of Carloses. Teníamos mucho grupo, muchas personas llamadas Carlos. So there was one that was Mexalos. He was Mexican. Había uno que era de México. And there was one that was called Peruvalos. Y había uno que era de Perú. Because he was Peruvian. Que era de Perú. And He would always come up to me after the messages. Él siempre venía hacia mí después de los mensajes. And he would say, oh, you know, oh, you know, he was a very proud man. Era un hombre con mucho orgullo. Think, he thought he was educated. Uno pensaba que era una persona educada. And he would say, you know, the translator missed a few words. El traductor no dijo todas las palabras completas. Because he, he's Puerto Rican. Porque él es de Puerto Rico. You know, those Puerto Ricans don't speak good Spanish. Porque we Peruvians, we speak good Spanish. Porque los puertorriqueños no hablan bien el español de Perú, sí. I said, oh, you do. Okay, sí, está bien. Okay. Well, that's very interesting because I don't speak Spanish well. Es muy interesante porque no hablo bien el español. But, you know what? ¿Sabes qué? Next week, you're translating. La próxima semana tú vas a traducir. Okay, I'll, uh, yes, I'll translate. Sí, la otra semana voy a traducir. 
About 30 minutes into the message, Después de 30 minutos dentro del mensaje, he couldn't think of words. no podía pensar más en palabras. And people had to start helping him. Las personas empezó a ayudarlo. Because he was thinking as a worldly man. Porque estaba pensando como un hombre del mundo. Instead of, let me sit up front. Déjeme sentarme adelante. Or near where the translator is. O cerca de donde está el traductor. That I could assist during a very difficult job. Así yo puedo asistir en el trabajo difícil. Many of you speak Spanish. Muchos de ustedes hablan español. And there's really no difference. No hay diferencia. There's education level. Hay el nivel de educación. Like Brittany speaks Spanish. Como Brittany habla español. But her vocabulary is small. Su vocabulario es pequeño. Because she's young. Porque ella es joven. When we translate the Spanish, Cuando traducimos el español, it's getting translated siendo traducido to the best of the ability. A lo mejor de la habilidad. Don't anybody smack at the translation here. No, por favor, no le cachete a la persona que está traduciendo. A menos que quieren parar donde está ella parada. If you want to help, si quieren ayudar, then you sit, you go by her. Se paran al lado de you ella. can sit by the translator. Pueden sentarse al lado del traductor. And then help when a word you should be translating in your mind. Y pueden tienen que estar traduciendo en su mente. To help. Para ayudar. We have some other projects going on. Tenemos otros proyectos que están sucediendo. Look at verse 2. Ven el versículo 2. I gave you milk, not solid food, because you were not re yet ready for it. But you aren't ready for it now either. Amen? Amen. Salvation is the first step, everybody. La salvación es el primer paso. But then you got to start walking with the king. Entonces tienes que empezar a caminar con el rey. You got to start shedding the world viewpoint. Tienes que estar quitándote la vista, la forma que ves el mundo. But a lot of people, yeah, I, I got the seven holy days down. Sí, las personas dicen sí, tengo los siete fiestas santas. I don't eat pig anymore. Yo no como ya cerdo. But it's much more than that, everybody. Es mucho más que eso. Can you name me the ten commandments now? Puedes decirme los diez mandamientos ahora. Can you name me some of the 613 laws? Of the categories that you are responsible for. De las categorías que tú eres responsable. We start. Nosotros empezamos. And then you got to keep growing. Tienes que empe empezar a crecer. And we start getting into battles and and everybody You know, talking about other people. Entramos a batallas donde las personas están hablando de otras personas. How can we be as one as Yeshua and the Father are one if we're all about pride? ¿Cómo vamos a ser uno como Yeshua y el Padre son uno si todos todos somos con orgullo? But don't worry. Pero no te preocupes. This has been going on for 2,000 years. Esto ha sucedido ya por 2,000 años. How do we become better servants? ¿Cómo nos convertimos mejor siervo? When you walk through the door of the sanctuary, Cuando caminas por la puerta del santuario, leave your pride outside. Deja tu orgullo afuera. Because I'll start testing you. Voy a empezar a ponerte en prueba. And even I, I can't name you all 613. Y hasta yo no puedo nombrarte todas las 613. I can name a lot of them. Puedo decirte mucho de ellas. Off the top of my head. De mi cabeza. But I can't tell you I can name all 613 right off. Blah, 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 blah. No puedo decirte las 613. I can tell you where it's found. Puedo decir dónde se encuentra. I can look it up. Puedo mirar. I'm not going to say I'm perfect because I'm not. My wife will tell you that. <laughs> Yo no soy perfecto y no soy perfecto. Te voy a preguntar a mi esposa. Well, we got to keep que... moving forward. Pero tenemos que seguir caminando adelante. If you want to help somebody in the congregation, help them. Si quieres ayudar a alguien en la congregación, ayúdalo. But do not expect anything in return. Pero no esperes nada de vuelta. You want to be like Messiah. Si quieres ser como el Mesías. He came off his throne. Él se bajó de su trono. Knowing full well that he was going to die. Sabiendo muy bien que él iba a morir. But he did it because he wanted to bless us. Porque lo hizo porque quería bendecirnos a nosotros. Look at verse 2. Ven el versículo 2. I favor. gave you milk, not solid food, because you were not ready. But you aren't ready for it either. now either. Amen? Amen. Francisco's feeding the baby a bottle. Francisco le está dando una botella de leche al bebé. 
And he should tilt her up a little bit more because she's going to choke. Hay que levantarle un poco más la cabeza si no se va a ahogar. Francisco, I want you trying that at home, drinking a bottle of soda on your back. Francisco, ¿quieres que trate de tomar una lata de soda de esa manera? Rookie. Okay. Why is he giving her a bottle? Porque le está dando una botella de leche. So she doesn't have teeth. Porque ella no tiene dientes. She's not ready for solid food. Ella no está preparada para comer comida sólida. As a believer. Como un creyente. And a follower of the way. Y un seguidor del camino. Are you still a bottle feeder? Todavía eres una persona que come de la botella. Or do you want to start eating some good things? O quieres empezar a comer cosas buenas. Like that chocolate cake we were talking about. O como esa torta de chocolate como estábamos hablando Or anteriormente. Or maybe a Klondike bar. O, un, o helado. <laughs> o el otro. Or maybe a piece of pizza. O de pronto un, un pedazo de pizza. You want to grow in the knowledge of the Lord. Quieres crecer en el conocimiento del Señor. We don't need to stay like babies anymore. We need to grow. Tenemos que quedarnos como bebé, tenemos que crecer. We want to do something for the King of Kings. Queremos hacer algo para el Rey de Reyes. Each one of us. Cada uno de nosotros. Needs to grow in being a servant of the Most High God. Tenemos que crecer y ser un siervo del Dios Altísimo. Look at verse 3. Ven el versículo 3. For you are still worldly, isn't it obvious? From all your jealousy and quarreling among you quarreling among you that you are worldly and living by merely human standards amen amen if we get jealous si tenemos celos because somebody is elevated into a different position que alguien ha sido elevado en otra posición oh she's she's doing that ella está haciendo eso or he's doing that o él está haciendo eso if we get into fights si nos metemos en discusiones y peleas because We're not learning how to be servants of God. Porque no estamos aprendiendo a ser siervos de Dios. Then what was the blessing anyway? ¿Cuál era la bendición entonces? You just lost it. Te acabas de perder ahorita. But don't worry, you're not the first who's lost it. No te preocupes, no eres el primero que perdiste esa bendición. If you want to bless somebody, bless somebody. Si quieres bendecir a alguien, bendice a esa persona. I want to bless Francisco. Yo quiero bendecir a Francisco. Why? Because I want to bless him. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero bendecir. I want to help out Melissa. Why? Because I love the young lady. Yo quiero ayudar a Melissa. ¿Por qué? Porque le tengo cariño a la. I want to see her to be a woman of God one day. Yo quiero que sea una mujer de Dios un día. I want to see Adriana be a woman of God one day. Quiero que Adriana sea una mujer de Dios un día. I want to see them being whatever they want to be. Y verlas que hacer lo que ellas quieran hacer. But not without God. Pero sin Dios. Pero si no, no tener a Dios. I want to see Sandy blessed with triplets in her womb. Quiero que Sandy tenga trillizos en su madre. I want to see three little Dayons. Quiero ver tres Dayons. I want to see Veronica pregnant with more children. Quiero que Veronica tenga más hijos. Maybe five at one time. Cinco. I want to see Eduardo go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not because I want to be blessed. No, porque yo quiero ser bendecido. And I'll do whatever it takes. Yo haré lo que tome. Ariadna and Francisco needed some help the other couple weeks ago. Ariadna y Francisco right? estaban ayudando unas semanas atrás. Because Francisco had just started this trucking job. Porque Francisco acaba de empezar un trabajo manejando camiones. And it's a crazy schedule. Y es un horario un poco loco. So I didn't want her bringing the children to the pagan. Parents. No quería que llevaran a los niños a los padres paganos. Que so tienen. we took the children in. Entonces nosotros cogimos a los niños. I don't want accolades for it. No quiero aclamaciones sobre eso. This is what the body does. Esto es lo que el cuerpo hace. Make them as one. Hazlo uno. As you and I are one. Así como tú y yo somos uno. I don't want the kids with the pagans. That was my goal. Eso yo no quiero los niños con los abuelos paganos. Just pick up the phone a little more and let us know where you are. <laughs> That's all. So Just so I know how to feed them. Así yo puedo saber cómo alimentarlos. You know, what am I going to make? Kiana really loves soup. Dice, Kiana le fascina la sopa. <laughs> We're like, okay, well, we don't got more of that stuff anymore. No tenemos más sopa. Soup! Sopa. Because she's got no teeth. Porque ya no tiene dientes. And she was like, <laughs> oh, that was good. Eso estaba rico. But it was a blessing Pero una bendición that we got 
Kerubalos never translated again. Because <laughs> his pride got squished. He was all like, I can translate. Yo puedo traducir. I can do this for 10 minutes. Yo puedo hacer eso por diez minutos. I am knowledgeable. Tengo conocimiento. I can do it. Yo lo puedo hacer. <laughs> 30 minutes of that, that he was speaking gibberish like my Spanish. And the other translator was just sitting there. Now was that good? No. no. This is the word of God. We should be doing things because we want to do them. Make them as one. As, As you and I, Father, are one. Así como tú, padre, somos uno. Let's take this a little further. Vamos a un poquito más para Turn segundo. to the book of Hebrews, chapter 5. Vamos al libro de Hebreos, capítulo 5. Anybody learning anything today? ¿Están aprendiendo algo el día de hoy? ¿Están aprendiendo algo el día Hebrews 5. Hebreos 5. Verse 7 through 14. Versículo 7 al 14. Three little dayons. Three blind mice. <laughs> Hebrews 5, verse 7 through 14. Hebreos 5, versículo 7 al 14, por favor. Hebrews 5. Hebreos 5. It's in Hebrews 5. Hebreos 5. It's a little bit before it. Hebrews 5. Hebreos 5. Verse 7 through 14. Everybody got it? Versículo 7 al 14. Oh, Melissa, you're on the wrong side. 7 a 14. During Yeshua's life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions, crying aloud and shedding tears to the one who had the power to deliver him from death. And he was heard because of his godliness. Even though he was his son, he learned obedience through his sufferings. And after he had been brought to the goal, he became the source of eternal deliverance to all who obey him. Since he had been proclaimed by God as a Kohen Gadol to be compared with Melchizedek, we have much to say about this subject. But it is hard to explain because you have become sluggish in your understanding. For although by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the very first principle of God's word all over again. You need milk not solid food. Anyone who has to drink milk is still a baby without experience in applying the word about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, for those whose faculties have been trained by continuous exercise to distinguish good from evil. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 11. Ven el versículo 11, por favor. We have much to say about this subject, but it's hard to explain because you have become sluggish in understanding. Amen? I'd love to go, amen? Amen. I didn't write it. My cousin Paul did. <laughs> you know, Actually, yeah, this is definitely Pablo. Paulian. Mi, mi primo Pablo que esto. But he's saying, I'd, I'd love to explain it. Me gustaría explicarles. But you're a bunch of slugs. Están vuelto flojos. What does a slug do? ¿Qué hace una persona floja? Crawls along the ground. Se arrastra en el piso. Leaving that gooey stuff as it goes along. Dejando es, esa mancha atrás. Sometimes in the summer you step on them with your flip-flops. A veces tú pisas oh, con tus chancletas. Or sometimes you step on them with your toes on accident. Uh, lo pisas cuando <laughs> estás descalzo. But he's saying you're sluggish. Dice que eres flojo. I would love to start going into some deeper things here at the congregation. Me gustaría entrar a cosas más profundas aquí en la congregación. But some people are getting sluggish. Pero muchas personas están poniendo un poco. I'm hearing a lot of chit chat about people. Hablando cosas de las otras personas. A lot of things that we should be growing in. Las cosas que debemos de crecer. And being able to do a lot more. Y hacer más. But you're sluggish. Pero se han vuelto flojos. Trying to teach the laws of God. Trata de enseñar las leyes de Dios. And get into more profound things. Entrar a cosas más profundas. But this one's saying this thing, this one's saying this one. It's like. Una está diciendo una cosa, la otra dice otra cosa, la otra persona dice otra cosa. We need to become servants. Tenemos que convertirnos siervos. Focus on yourself. Enfocarnos en nosotros mismos. 
Okay, we got the seven holy days down. Tenemos las siete fiestas santas. But do you know what to do during those seven holy days? Tú sabes qué tienes que hacer durante esas siete fiestas. I can santas. say Shavuot. Puedo decir Shavuot. But do you know what to bring on Shavuot, Oscar? Pero sabes qué tienes que traer para Shavuot, Oscar. Do you know what to bring on Shavuot, Ellen? Sabes qué tienes que traer para Shavuot. And I ask, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Lo estoy preguntando, solamente estoy diciendo. Do you know what we're to bring on Bikurim? Saben qué tienen que traer en Bikurim. You know what we got to do for the 15th day of the first month? A ver qué lo tienen que hacer los primeros 15 días del primer mes. What can't be in your house? Que que no puede estar en tu casa. No pork can never be in your house. <laughs> First day, 15th day of the first month. What has to be out of your house, everybody? Levadura. Lo que es la levadura. Leavening. You no. can't have any leavening in your house. No puede ser ninguna levadura en tu casa. That's why I love the time before that. Por eso me, me, me encanta los días antes de eso. You get to eso. eat up all the pancake mix. No puedes comer todos los pancakes y pan. You get to eat up all the crackers. Y todas las galletas. All the stuff that has leavening in it. Todo lo que contiene levadura. Look at verse 11. En el, el versículo 11. We have much to say about this subject, but it's hard to explain because you have become sluggish in your understanding. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we get stuck in our own little world. Porque nos quedamos enfrascados en nuestro propio mundo. Oh, so and so looked at me wrong. Esa persona me miró mal. <laughs> What the hell is that? ¿Qué significa eso? <laughs> Maybe the person was having gas. <laughs> Maybe the person just had a fight with their spouse that doesn't come here. They didn't say hello to me this morning. No me dijeron buenos días esta mañana. Did anybody notice me this morning? I was not having one of your better days. This last 24 hours has been nuts. Estos 24 horas han sido un poco locos. It doesn't mean I just like you. No significa que no me caes bien. You know, my son Connor wanted to be a blessing. It's like, oh, son, just leave me alone. Mi hijo Connor quería ser una bendición, pero déjame en paz. He wanted to be a blessing, but just. Quería ser una bendición, pero. Just go away for a sec. Solamente es vete por un segundo. Doesn't mean that I don't love him. No significa que yo no lo amo. He was just trying to be a blessing. Estaba tratando de ser una bendición. Look at verse 12. En el versículo 12. For although by this time you want to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the very first principles of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Amen. Amen. We need to keep moving forward, everybody. Tenemos que estar moviéndonos hacia adelante. We got stuff coming. Vienen muchas cosas. That's going to really test us. Nos va a poner a todos en prueba. The news I did this morning, everybody. Con las noticias que hice esta mañana. The possibility of the world changing within the next four weeks is very, very real. Que el mundo cambie en unas cuatro cuatro semanas es algo muy muy real. Very real. Muy real. He didn't look at me right. Ella no me miró bien. He wasn't being proway. Ella me estaba mirando al otro lado. Maybe that guy got up on the wrong side of the bed. De pronto esa persona se levantó en el lado equivocado de la cama. No, me, me woke up like me. My, I was like, what is wrong with my right hip? Cuando me levanté, ¿qué es lo que pasa con el lado derecho de la cadera? What is wrong with my knee? ¿Qué sucede con mi rodilla? Your body said you're old. Mi cuerpo me está diciendo que ya estoy mayor. We need to start growing. Necesitamos crecer. And those listening in on the internet, you need to start growing too. Las personas que están en el internet también tienen que empezar a crecer. So I hear from a lot of people. Porque yo escucho de muchas personas. It's not about you. No es sobre no es todo sobre ti. This life is not about you. Este vida no es sobre sobre This ti. This life is about him. Es tu vida tiene que ser sobre él. It is about him. Sobre, solamente And él. how you become a better servant. Y cómo tú convertirte un mejor siervo. Look at verse 12 and 13. En el versículo 12 y 13, por favor. For although by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the very first principle of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who has to drink milk is still a baby without experience in applying the word about righteousness. Amen? Amen. You got to start applying it to your lives, everybody. Tienes que empezar a aplicarlo en tu vida. 
isn't good enough just to say I love Jesus. No es bueno solamente decir yo amo a Jesús. You got to apply it. Tienes que aplicarlo en tu vida. And as you apply the mitzvot that bind us together. Y cuando tú aplicas los mandamientos que nos une juntos. Jehovah will pour a blessing on your home. Así Jehovah va a mandar bendiciones a tu hogar. On your life. En tu vida. But if you're nitpicking at one another. Si estás eh, es criticando el uno al otro. She's from another country. Y es de otro país. They don't speak the same Spanish. <laughs> no hablan el mismo español. Okay. Margarita, what country are you from? Ecuador. Ellen, what country are you from? Cayman Islands. Mark? Jamaica. Colombia. Colombia. Where are you from, Melissa? I'm from America. <laughs> Miami, a country of its own. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? Ecuador. Okay, right. Spanish people. Las personas que hablan español. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Did everybody <laughs> understand that? Yes. <laughs> sí. Zapatos. <laughs> Does everybody understand zapatos? <laughs> zapatos. Z sí. Zapatos. 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 See, you're all correcting me, right? <laughs> But you all understood, right? Yeah. What I was trying to say. Yes. It's the same with the sticks. Es lo mismo con estos palos. We want to get it better. Vamos a hacerlo Now, mejor. How do I say it correctly? ¿Y cómo lo digo correcto? Zapatos. 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 Consuelo has a lot of zapatos. <laughs> <laughs> We got to grow together, everybody. <laughs> We got to grow together. Tenemos que crecer juntos. We got to experience applying the word to our lives. Tenemos que experimentar y aplicar en nuestras vidas. Helping one another. Ayudarnos el uno al otro. Because we want that person to be blessed also. Porque queremos que esa persona también sea bendecida. Look at verse 14. Vean el versículo 14, por favor. But solid food is for the mature, for those faculties have been trained by continuous exercise to distinguish good from evil. We all need to learn how to distinguish good from evil. Todos tenemos que aprender cómo distinguir entre lo bueno y lo malo. We need to work together as a family. Tenemos que trabajar juntos como una familia. As Yeshua said, Father, make them as one as you and I are one. Como dijo Yeshua, Padre, hazlos uno como tú y yo somos uno. Make us one. Haznos uno. Help your brother or sister. Ayuda a tu hermano o a tu hermana. Not because you have to, because you want to bless them. No solamente porque tienes que hacerlo, sino que quieres hacerlo y para bendecirlos. Turn to Titus chapter 2, please. Vamos a Tito capítulo 2. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Tito capítulo 2. Titus. Tito. Tito, Tito. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Tito, yes. Titus. Tito capítulo. Chapter 2. Capítulo 2, versículo del 1 al 10. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Titus. Everybody learning something here today? ¿Están aprendiendo algo el día de hoy? Huh? <coughs> Titus chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. Tito, For all people. <laughs> Titus capítulo 2, versículo del 1 al 10. This one's for you. <laughs> Titus. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Te amo. <laughs> Titus funny. chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. But you explain what kind of behavior goes along with sound teaching. Tell the older men, be serious, sensible, self-controlled and sound in their trust, love and perseverance. Likewise, tell the older women to behave the way people leading a holy life should. They should be, shouldn't be slanderers or slaves to excessive drinking. They should teach what is good, thus training the younger women to love their husbands and children. 
to be self-controlled and pure, to take good care of their homes and submit to their husbands. In this way, God's message will not be brought into disgrace. Similarly, urge the young men, young men to be self-controlled. And in everything, set them an example yourself by doing what is good. When you are teaching, have integrity and be serious. Let everything you say be so wholesome that an opponent will be put to shame because he will have nothing bad to say about us. Tell slaves to submit to their masters in everything to give satisfaction without talking back or pilfering. On the contrary, they should demonstrate complete faithfulness always so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our deliver more attractive. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 2. En el versículo 2, por favor. Tell the older men to be serious, sensible, self-controlled, and sound in their trust, love, and perseverance. Amen? Amen. Men, you got to start being serious about following God. Hombres, tienen que ser serios cuando siguen a Dios. I don't care what's going on in your life. Your butt's got to be here on Shabbat. No importa lo que esté sucediendo en sus vidas, tienen que estar on los sábados. time. A tiempo. On time. A tiempo. On time. A venir a tiempo. Not 11, 10. No, I want you here so you can put your talit on and say the prayer over the talit. You are the leaders of your homes. Ustedes son los de su you are an example. Eres, ustedes son un ejemplo. But if sometimes you do some things. Y a veces haces algunas cosas. Sometimes you don't do other things. Y a veces haces, no haces otras cosas. You're giving a garbage example to the people that are following you. Estás dando un ejemplo de basura a la gente que te está siguiendo. Well, Dad, sometimes does it and sometimes doesn't. Mi papá lo, a veces lo haces y a veces no. We're sometimes there for the beginning and sometimes not. A veces estamos con los, al, al principio y al, a veces no. Torah means discipline. El Torah significa disciplina. We start at 11. Empezamos a las 11. That means get here before 11. Significa que estén antes de las 11. It's responsibility. Es responsabilidad. I used to preach every... Uh, For a while at a, a Spanish church. Uh, predicaba en una iglesia este, de habla hispana. It was fascinating. Era algo fascinante. I said, so what time is service? ¿A qué hora empieza el servicio? We start around two. Empezamos a las dos. What? ¿Qué? What did you just say? ¿Qué me acabas de decir? Around two. Ar, 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 alrededor de las dos sometimes de la tarde. Sometimes we start at two, sometimes we start at three. A veces empezamos a las dos y a veces a las tres. What is that? ¿Qué significa eso? We start here at 11. Aquí empezamos a las once. At the, at the latest, 11.05. Lo más tarde, 11.05. Torah means your discipline. El Torah significa que tienes disciplina. You've got to be serious about God's word. Tienes que estar serio con la palabra de Dios. Or eventually, especially with times that are coming. Eventualmente con los tiempos que se aproximan. Your lives will fall apart. Tus vidas van a empezar a quebrantarse. It says sound in trust. Sonido y confianza. Men, what do we need to be trusting in? Hombres, ¿en qué contemos que confiar? That there is a God in heaven. Que hay un cielo, hay un Dios en los cielos. And he is on his throne. Y él está sentado en su trono. Every day. Todos los días. He ne neither slumbers nor sleeps. Él nunca descansa o duerme. We need to be Persevering, gentlemen. Tenemos que tener perseverancia, hombres. Our walk needs to be an example. Nuestro camino tiene que ser un ejemplo. These children look to us, men. Esos niños nos miran a nosotros, caballeros. Your children and other children around you look to you as an example. Tus hijos y otros hijos, otros niños miran tu ejemplo. Ladies, Damos, verse three. Versículo tres. Ladies. Para las damas. Likewise, tell the older women to behave the way people leading a holy life should. They shouldn't be slanderers or slaves to excessive drinking. They should teach what is good. Amen? Amen. Older ladies, meaning older in the Lord. Las mujeres mayores significan las mayores en el Señor. You know, you could be just coming here for the first year. De pronto están viniendo aquí el primer año. And you could be 60. Y pueden tener 60. Or older. O mayor. You're a baby to me. Eres un bebé ante mis ojos. Older in the Lord, older women. 
uh, uh, mayor en el Señor, hombres mayor, mujeres you need mayores. To be an example for the younger women. Tienen que ser un ejemplo para las mujeres eh, jóvenes. Showing them different skills. Enseñándoles diferentes habilidades. Teaching them what is holy. Y enseñándoles a ellas que lo que es santo. Not by just your mouth. No solamente por tu boca. By your actions. Por tus acciones. By your actions. Por tus acciones. If you're I, I hear you guys think I don't speak Spanish well. Yo escucho, ustedes piensan que no hablo muy bien el español. I, I can listen in. Yo puedo escuchar. And figure out what you ladies are talking about. Y puedo eh, eh, descifrar lo que ustedes están hablando. Las I hear mujeres. a lot of this with the ladies. Escucho mucho esto con las mujeres. And I'm not talking about Muppets. Estoy hablando sobre los Muppets. You think I can't understand just because you're speaking Spanish? I can. Ustedes piensan que yo no entiendo porque están hablando español, pero yo entiendo. I may not say the words correctly. De pronto no digo las palabras correctamente. But my ears still work. Pero mis oídos todavía funcionan. And I'm a very auditory person. Soy una persona que escucho muy bien. We need to be an example. Tenemos que ser un ejemplo. As this place grows and it has been. Y como este lugar está creciendo y como lo ha hecho. You need to learn and teach what is right ladies to the que, ladies of the young children tienen que aprender y enseñar lo que eh, aprenden aquí damas look at verse 4 and 5 en el versículo 4 y 5 thus training the younger women to love their husbands and children to be self-controlled and pure to take good care of their homes and submit to the to their husbands in this way God's message will not be brought to into disgrace amen amen you know you got younger girls They speak Spanish here too, ladies. Aquí hay um, joven, chicas jóvenes que también hablan español. And they hear you, ladies. Say, well, did you see what so and so was doing? Ellas escuchan los que ustedes dicen, viste esa Juliana, Juliana. You know, they hear. Ellas escuchan. And you're supposed to be an example. Y ustedes tienen que ser un ejemplo. They're going to follow your example, ladies. Van a seguir, tu, van a seguir su ejemplo. And then God's message is going to be brought to disgrace. Entonces el mensaje de Dios va, va a ser traído en desgracia. Oh, you're one of those messianics that talk about the Torah, the law. Tú eres de esas personas mesiánicas que hablan de la ley del Torah. And you're the worst worker. Y eres el peor trabajador. You're gossiping about everybody. Tú estás hablando de todo el mundo. Trying to be a light to your husbands that are not saved. Then God's message gets brought to disgrace. Entonces el mensaje de Dios va a ser traído en desgracia. Look at verse 8. En el versículo 8, por favor. Let everything you say be so wholesome that an opponent will be put to shame because he will have nothing bad to say about us. Amen? Amen. That's the biggest key about being a servant. Esa es la clave más grande ser un siervo. When I used to work in the world, cuando yo trabajaba en el mundo, people used to dislike my personality. Muchas personas, I don't know why. Muchas personas les gustaba mi personalidad, no entiendo por qué. I didn't care. A mí no me importaba. About what they thought about me personally. No me, no me importa lo que ellos pensaban de mí personalmente. Nobody ever questioned my work. Pero nadie me cuestionó mi trabajo. I don't care what you think about me. No me importa lo que tú pienses de mí. Oh, he's always talking about God. Siempre está hablando de Dios. He's such a jerk to work with. Eres una persona que mal es trabajar con él. Feo trabajar con él, ¿por qué? I just don't like the way he says things. No me gusta como él dice las cosas. He's always talking about God. Siempre está hablando de Dios. If that's all they can say about you, si eso es lo único que pueden decir well, de ti. Well, did he get his work done while he was talking about God? Pero hizo su trabajo mientras hablaba de Dios. Yeah, he did. Sí, sí, sí lo hizo. That's what it's saying here. Esto es lo que está diciendo aquí. Give them nothing. No les den nada. Nothing. Nada. That they could say bad about you. Que hablen mal de ti. But we got to teach. You got to teach. Tienes que enseñar. Monica, you got to teach Melissa. Tienes que enseñar. You gotta become the woman of valor, woman of God. Tienes que convertirte en una mujer de valor, una mujer de Dios. Because the men are going to go after her. Porque los hombres van a ir detrás de ella. You gotta show her how to stand. Tienes que enseñarla cómo tiene que pararse. Be a princess. Ser una princesa. To the King Most High. Del Rey Altísimo. 
Yes, she's beautiful outside, but she's beautiful inside. Es bonita fuera, pero también es bonita por dentro. She's prettier inside than she is even outside. Es más bonita por dentro que lo que es por fuera. Then God will shower presence upon her. Entonces el Señor va a derramar su presencia sobre ella. You're going to teach Kiana and Liliana how to be women of God. Es que enseñar a Kiana y Liliana cómo ser mujeres de Dios. Older ladies, even if you're grandmas now. Las mujeres, mire, incluyendo si son abuelas. Carmen, you got to become that woman of valor. Carmen, tienes que convertirte en esa mujer de valor. So Alyssa and Sasha will say, yes, that's my grandma. Así Alyssa y Sasha pueden decir, sí, esa es mi abuela. Because Dayan's grandma, she's in warm Cuba. <laughs> His mama's <laughs> in Cuba. <laughs> It's warm there. Se hace calor allá. But they, you want them to look up to us. Quieres que ellos nos miren a nosotros. And nobody could say anything bad about you. Que nadie puede decir nada malo de ti. How are they going to say nothing bad about you? Como no van a decir nada malo de ti. Following the commandments of God. Siguiendo los mandamientos de Dios. Final section. Última sección. Section three. Sección tres. Everybody learning section two? Aprendieron en la sección dos. We gotta start applying this to our lives. Tenemos que aplicar esto en nuestras vidas. Well, let's see how to be a servant. Vamos a ver cómo ser un siervo. Let's look at the diamond. Vamos a ver el diamante. Let's look at the diamond. Vamos a ver el diamante. And learn how to be a servant. Y cómo ser un siervo. Turn to Proverbs 25. Vamos a Proverbios capítulo 25. Proverbs 25. Proverbios 25. Yeshua said. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Yeshua dijo, el hijo del hombre no vino a ser servido, sino a servir. Let's learn how to be servants like him. Vamos a aprender cómo ser siervos como él. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 21 and 22. Proverbios 25, versículo 21 y 22. Proverbs 25. Proverbios 25. Verse 21. Versículo 21. And 22. Al 25, al 22, perdón. Everybody got it? Proverbs? If someone who hates you is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap fiery coals of shame on his head, and Jehovah will reward you. Amen? This is a hard one. Esto es algo difícil. Somebody hates me. Alguien me odia. Somebody hates me. Alguien me odia. You mean I gotta give the Palestinians water? Diga que tengo que dar a los palestinos agua. We gotta feed them. Tenemos, tenemos que darle de comer. They're dogs. Son perros. They fire rockets into our country every day. Ellos nos tiran eh, misiles a nuestro país todos los días. Look at verse 21 and 22. Ven el versículo 21 y 22, por favor. Someone who hates you is hungry. Give him food to eat. And if he's thirsty. Give him water to drink, for you will heap fiery coals of shame on his head, and Jehovah will reward you. Amen. 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 You gotta learn how to show compassion. Tienes que aprender cómo mostrar compasión. You want to be a good servant? Quieres ser un buen siervo? Make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Hazlo uno como tú y tu padre somos uno. What does it say if if we're doing that? ¿Qué, qué dice si hacemos esto? I wanted to bless that family. Yo quería bendecir a esa familia. But they turned and, and they said bad things about me, Melissa. Y ellos se voltearon y hablaron cosas malas de mí. I wanted to bless them. Yo quería bendecirlos. And then they said something bad about me. Y empezaron a decir cosas malas de mí. Don't steal the blessing. No robes la bendición. By doing this, even though they hate you. Haciendo eso, sabiendo que te odian. Jehovah says what? Jehovah dice que you will heap fiery coals on their head. Amontarás brasas de vergüenza sobre su cabeza. Because you showed them the kingdom of God. Porque tú le mostras es el reino de Dios. And even though you hate me, I'm not going to return your hate. Sabiendo que tú me odias, yo no voy a regresarte ese odio. And who's going to bless you? ¿Y quién te va a bendecir? Jehovah's going to bless you. Jehovah te va a bendecir. But he's going to put coals on their head, don't worry. Pero va a poner ex, ex, brasa sobre su cabeza. If somebody's hating you, si alguien te odia, look inside yourself first. Mira dentro de ti primero. Did I do anything to them to make them hate me? Les hice algo a ellos para que ellos me odien. Did I cut them off? 
Los corté a ellos. Did I call them a name? Les, les, les llamé nombres. Or are they hating you because you represent the light? O te odian porque tú representas la luz. Then that's right. Entonces, go on hating me. Sigue odiando. I'm going to go on blessing you. Voy a seguir bendiciéndote. I'm going to bless you. Te voy a bendecir. Helping those who are hungry. Ayudando a los que tienen hambre. I don't want to give them my food. Yo no quiero dar a ellos mi comida. This is going to be coming shortly, everybody. Esto va a venir muy pronto. That's why I do the news. Por eso yo hago las noticias. That whole lake Todo is lago. gone in China. Se fue, ya no está ahí en la China. That means there's other areas of farmland that are getting no rain. Significa que las otras tierras de granja no están requiriendo. Where's that food going to come from? ¿Dónde va a venir toda la comida? From where God is bringing the rain. ¿Dónde Dios manda Dios la lluvia? And where did God bring the rain? ¿Dónde llevó la lluvia? We got a foot of rain the other day. Tuvimos un pie de lluvia el otro día acá. They're going to be coming for whose food? Van a venir a, la com a buscar la comida They're de quién? They're going to be coming for us. Van a venir a buscarnos a nosotros. God will protect us if Dios, we are servants. Dios nos va a proteger si nosotros somos siervos. Make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Haznos uno como tú, Señor, como tú y el Padre son uno. But they're pagans. Pero ellos son paganos. They don't worship you. Ellos no te adoran. Don't worry. No te preocupes. You will put fiery coals on their head. A montar las brazas, brazas de vergüenza sobre su cabeza. Who's gonna bless you? ¿Quién te va a bendecir? Jehová's gonna bless us. Jehová te va a bendecir. Let's go deeper into being a servant. Vamos a entrar profundamente en ser un siervo. Turn to Mark chapter 10, please. Vamos a Marcos capítulo 10. Mark 10. Marcos 10. Let's build on the fiery coal. Vamos a construir sobre la las brasas de vergüenza. Mark 10, verse 35 to 45. Marcos 10, versículo 35 al 45. Mark 10. Marcos 10. Verse 35 to 45. Versículo 35 al 45. Mark 10. Marcos 10. Verse 35 to 45. Versículo 35 al 45. Yaakov and Yochanan, the sons of Zabdai, came up to him and said, Rabbi, we would like you to do us a favor. He said to them, What do you want me to do for you? They replied, When you are in your glory, Let us sit with you, one on your right and the other on your left. But Yeshua answered, You don't know what you're asking. Can you drink the cup that I'm, I am drinking? Or be immersed with the immersion that I must undergo? They said to him, We can. Yeshua replied, The cup that I am drinking, you will drink. And the immersion that I am being immersed with, you will undergo. But to sit on my right and on my left is not mine to give. Rather, it is for those whom it has been prepared. When the other ten heard about this, they became outraged at Yaakov and Yochanan. But Yeshua called them to him and said to them, You know that among the Goyim, those who are su supposed to rule them became tyrants, and their superiors became di dictators. But among you, It must not be like that. On the contrary, whoever among you wants to be the leader must be your servant. And whoever wants to be the first among you become everyone's slave. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 41, please. En el versículo 41, por favor. When the other ten heard about this, they became outraged at Yaakov and Yochanan. Amen? Amen. They were babies. Y eran bebés. The Talmudim were babies right here, everybody. Los discípulos eran bebés aquí. Why did they get outraged? ¿Por qué se pusieron enojados? Because they were jealous. Porque tenían celos. This is the disciples in the middle of the Gospels. Estos son los discípulos en la mitad de los evangelios. Hey, you guys, you, you asked to be on the seats. Ustedes pidieron que sentarse a la derecha. Y la you, 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 uh, 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 <laughs> Hicieron eso. They got jealous. Se pusieron celosos. Yeshua must have been going. Yeshua de pronto estaba diciendo. I, 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 I yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yo, sí, sí. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at verse 
todo el mundo los otros diez not just one or two. no solamente uno y not dos Andrew and Kepha, no era solamente Andrew y Kepha the other ten. los otros diez Babies. bebés They were on milk yet. They weren't on solid food. They had not learned how to be servants. So look what Yeshua says in verse 45. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen? Amen. We need to be like that. Nosotros tenemos que ser así. If you got a skill, Tú tienes una habilidad. And you want to show it to somebody. Y quieres mostrárselo a alguien. And they come, you just show them. Y si ellos vienen, tú le muestras. It's not about you, it's about him. No so, no sobre ti, sino sobre él. It's not about you, it's, it's about the king. No sobre ti, sino sobre el rey. The prince, the Tsar Shalom. El príncipe el Tsar Shalom. The prince came to be a servant. El príncipe vino para ser un siervo. But he's Messiah. Pero es el Mesías. He's royalty. Él es realeza. He came to serve. Él vino a servir. What do you come to do? ¿Qué tú vienes a hacer qué? Do you come to learn how to be a servant here? Tú estás viniendo para ser un panadero. I just want to get blessed. O quieres ser bendecido. Look at verse 45. You might want to underline just that verse. Te gusta el versículo 45 y subraya solamente ese versículo. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen. Amen. He came to serve us. Él vino a servirnos a nosotros. If you're a Christian, si eres un cristiano, that means Christ-like. Significa igual que Cristo. Are you learning how to be a servant? Estás aprendiendo a ser un siervo. What is good? What is bad? Lo que es bueno, lo que es malo. He healed us. Messiah healed us. Él nos sanó, el Mesías nos sanó. He healed the leper. Él sanó al, a la persona con lepra. How much did he ask? ¿Cuánto pidió él? Oh, uh, you have Obamacare? Uh, nobody else does either. <laughs> ¿Tienes Obamacare? Nadie lo tiene. <laughs> Do you have insurance? ¿Tienes seguro? Do you have Aetna or Blue Cross Blue Shield? ¿Tienes Aetna o Blue Cross Blue Shield? What did, he, what did he say? ¿Qué dijo él? He said, go give the offering required by Torah. Va a ofrenda lo que requiere el Torah. Not to me. No a mí. To them. A ellos. Give God the glory. Dale a Dios la gloria. He raised the dead. Él levantó a los muertos. As a servant, he raised the dead. Como un siervo sirvió, a, levantó a los muertos. Did he say to Lazarus? Le dijo a Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. Lázaro, sal. How much do you think that's worth to you, huh? ¿Cuánto piensas que eso cuesta? Mary, Martha, what do you think, huh? <laughs> María, Marta, ¿qué piensas? Ven. <laughs> What did he ask as a servant? Como pidió como un siervo. Go give the offering that's required by God. Da la ofrenda lo que se requiere a Dios. Where do we get our blessings from? Donde adquirimos nuestras bendiciones. Him. De the él, King of Kings. El Rey de Reyes. Are, aren't we supposed to be like him? No tenemos que ser igual que él. More like him. O más que él. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Señor, bendíceme, bendíceme. Hey, make it a little warmer in here. Everybody's putting their coat on. Uh, no, no, turn the, turn the back one on. That's already cooked, that thing. Just a little bit. How do I be more like the king? ¿Cómo voy a ser yo más como el rey? How can I be a better servant? ¿Cómo voy a ser yo me, un mejor siervo? We had a, dis, not a, we had a little disaster technology-wise last night. Tuvimos un pequeño desastre tecnológico anoche. The heater is above the tech center. El calentador está encima del sobre la, el centro de tecnología. So last night I came in for the service. Anoche vine para el servicio para las Filipinas. And I'm turning on all the equipment. Y estoy prendiendo todo el, el, el equipo. And there's one computer in the back in the tech center. Hay una computadora atrás en el centro de tecnología. The one that goes out for all our Skype people. Eso sale para todas las personas que están en Skype. And on Tuesday there were 22 people on Skype with us for Bible study. El martes habieron 22 personas para el estudio bíblico. And I turn, went to turn that machine on. Voy a prender esta computadora. I pushed the button. Y presioné el botón. It worked. Trabajó. The other day. El otro día. It worked Thursday. Worked Tra yeah. Trabajó dos días atrás. 
Push the button. Presiona el botón. Machine starts to boot up. La computadora empieza a prenderse. And then it goes like this. Y de pronto hace así. It freezes. Se congela. My BlackBerry froze. <laughs> it just freezes. Se congeló la computadora. But because I care about those that are following us away from here. Porque a mí me preocupa las personas que nos están siguiendo de lejos. Because the Messiah gave me this ability. Porque el Mesías me dio esta habilidad. Tristan and I worked very diligently to get another machine operational for them. Y Tristan y yo trabajamos diligentemente para hacer un sistema para arreglar la computadora para ellos. Because I serve a king. Porque yo sirvo al rey. And I want to be like him. Yo quiero estar con él. He came to bring the word. El vino a traer la palabra. I'm going to be like him. Yo voy a ser como él. I'm going to deliver the word. Voy a llevar la palabra. So let us rightly divide the word. Vamos a dividir la palabra. The son of man did not come to be served. El hombre de, el hijo del hombre no vino a servir, but to serve. servir, sino a servir. Turn to Exodus 23, please. Vamos a Exodus capítulo 23. Shemot 23, please. Exodus 23. Let's learn how to be servants. Vamos a aprender cómo ser siervos. So learn how to be servants. Como aprender cómo ser siervos. Exodus 23 verses 1 through 6. Exodus 23 versículo del 1 al 6. Exodus 23 verse 1 through 6. Exodus 23 versículo del 1 al 6. You are not to repeat false rumors. Do not join hands with the wicked by offering perjured testimony. Do not follow the crowd when it does what is wrong, and do not allow the popular view, view to sway you into offering testimony for any cause if the effect will be to pervert justice. On the other hand, don't favor a person's lawsuit simply because he's poor. If you come upon an enemy's ox or donkey straying, you must return it to him. If you see the donkey which belongs to someone who hates you lying down helpless under its load, you're not to pass him by but to go and help him free it. Do not deny anyone justice in his lawsuit simply because he is poor. Amen? Look at verse 4. Ven el versículo 4. If you come upon your enemy's ox or donkey straying, you must return it to him. Amen? Amen. You mean I got to stop what I'm doing? Tengo que parar de hacer lo que estoy haciendo. Man, I don't like that man. A mí no me gusta ese hombre. That guy disrespected me. Ese hombre me faltó el respeto. I gotta go return his donkey. Tengo que regresarle su asno. I gotta stop what I'm doing. Tengo que parar hacer lo que estoy haciendo. Yes, you do. Sí, tienes que hacerlo. Why? Por qué? Because you represent heaven. Porque tú representas el cielo. You represent heaven on earth. Tú representas el cielo aquí en la tierra. It's his donkey. I don't care. Es su asno. A mí no me importa. Yeah, you gotta be a better servant. Than he would be. Tienes que ser un mejor siervo que lo que es él. Because if that donkey or that ox goes and gores somebody, si ese buey o ese asno va y le hace daño a una persona, then that guy is going to have to pay a, a big fine. Entonces esa persona tiene que pagar una multa and muy grande. And somebody's going to get hurt. Y alguien va a ser herido. So you being a better servant, tú siendo un mejor siervo, and representing the kingdom, y representando el reino, you could have prevented something from happening. Tú hubieras prevenido que algo malo sucediera. Because it's not about you. Es no, no todo sobre ti. It's about the kingdom. Es todo para el reino. Messiah came to serve. El, merci, el Mesías vino a servir. Look at verse 5. En el versículo 5, por favor. If you see a donkey which belongs to someone who hates you, lying down helpless under its load, you're not to pass him by, but go and help him free it. Amen? Amen. That's, that's, that guy I hate donkey. Ese hombre yo, lo, lo, me cae mal, lo odio. What did Yeshua say? ¿Qué dijo Yeshua? Seek first the kingdom of God. Primero busca el reino de Dios. Then you'll get your blessings. Entonces vas a adquirir tus bendiciones. I gotta help that donkey. Tengo que ayudar a ese burro. The donkey didn't do anything, people. El asno no hizo nada. But you're the wiser one. Pero tú eres la persona con la sabiduría. You're the one the king's looking at. Tú eres la que el, el, el rey está mirando. You're his representative here on earth. Tú eres su representante de él aquí en la tierra. Uh, I gotta go help that donkey. Tengo que ayudar a ese asno. Oh, man, I'm pregnant. Estoy embarazada. <laughs> I got 
two kids already. Yo tengo ya dos hijos. Got one in diapers and another one coming. Tengo uno en pañales y uno que viene. You want me to go help? ¿Tú quieres que vaya y ayude? Yeah, he does. Sí, él quiere que lo haga. He put that donkey in your path. Él puso ese asno delante de tu camino. Oh man, my back's hurting. Mi espalda me está doliendo. My shoulders hurting. Mis hombros my duelen. knees are hurting. Mis rodillas me duelen. Yeah, you gotta be a better servant. Tienes que ser un mejor siervo. Then all righteousness will be given to you. Entonces toda la justicia será dada a ti. Turn to Matthew 5. Vamos a Mateo 5. Verse 43 to 48. Mateo 5, versículo 44 al 48. Are we learning how to be servants? Estamos aprendiendo cómo ser siervos. Let's learn how to be servants. Tenemos que aprender cómo ser siervos. Matthew 5, Matthew. Mateo 5. Chapter 5. Capítulo 5. Verse 43 to 48. Versículo 43 al 48. Silencio, mi hijo. Don't bother the translator. Shekhe Pavakasha. <laughs> Matthew 5, verse 43 to 48. Mateo 5, versículo 43 al 48. You have heard that our fathers were told, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. Then you will become children of your fathers in he heaven. For he makes the sun shine on the good and the bad people alike. And he sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous alike. What reward do you get if you love only those who love you? Well, even the tax collectors do that. And if you are friendly only to your friends, are, are you doing anything out of the ordinary? Even the goyim do that. Therefore, be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Amen? Look at verse 46. En el versículo 46, por favor. What reward do you get if you love only those who love you? Why, well, even the tax collectors do that. Amen? Love only those who love you? Solamente los que te aman. I gotta love the Muslim? Tengo que amar a los musulmanes. Absolutely. Absolutamente. Love them right into the kingdom. Amarlos hasta que lleguen al reino. Showing them that our God is better than their moon God. Y mostrarles ellos que nuestro Dios es mejor que su Dios de luna. Oh, you don't have water? No tienes agua. Now it doesn't say you can't tell them where the water came from. No tienes que, no dice, no tienes que decirles dónde viene el agua. Our King gave us water and we will share it with you. Nuestro Rey nos dio agua y lo vamos a compartir con ellos. It doesn't say you can't do that. No dice que no tienes que hacer eso. Yes, we are blessing you because our Bible says we should. Estamos bendiciendo porque nuestra Biblia lo dice. And we are obedient to our king. Porque nosotros somos obedientes a nuestro This rey. This is why, Muslim friend, we are giving you water. Por eso, amigo musulmán, te estamos dando agua. That's how you do it. Así es como lo haces. But if you're, oh, he's, stay away from the Muslim. No. Es musulmán, mantente lejos de él. You see a Muslim? Ves un musulmán. Go up to them. Ve hacia ellos. Hi. Dile hola. God loves you. Dios te ama. Jesus died for your sins. Jesús murió por tus pecados. And the only way to get into heaven is through him. La única forma de llegar al cielo es a través de él. And in your Quran it says Jesus is right next to the Father. Y en tu Corán dice que Jesús está sentado al lado del Padre. He's alive. Él está vivo. Show them the righteousness. Muestre la justicia. In the Quran en el Corán. They call him Yesu. El, lo, lo llaman Yesu. 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 Yesu is next to the Father. He's alive. Yesu está sentado al lado del Padre. Está vivo. Muhammad is awaiting judgment. Muhammad está esperando juicio. But Yeshua is alive. Pero Yeshua está vivo. And here's why we're feeding you. Y por eso te estamos dando de comer. Because Yeshua has provided Yeshua us. Yeshua has dado para darte a ti. Don't do it without telling them why you're doing it. No le digas porque no lo estás haciendo. But if you only love people who love you, it's easy. Si amas a las personas que te aman a ti es fácil. When people get mad at me for telling them the gospel, that's cool. Las personas se enojan conmigo cuando digo el evangelio está bien. I have the truth, you don't. Yo tengo la verdad y tú no. I'm going to bring you the truth. Te voy a llevar la verdad. Look at verse 44 and 45. En el versículo 44 y 45. But I tell you, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, then you will become children of your Father in heaven. Amen? Amen. Yeshua prayed for us. Yeshua oró por nosotros. 
What did he say while up on the cross? ¿Qué dijo él cuando estaba en la cruz? Forgive them. Perdónenme. They know not what they do. No saben lo que están haciendo. How can you not do the same? Porque tú no vas a hacer lo mismo. Pray for the Muslims. Help the Muslims. Ora por los musulmanes. Ayúdalos. Help the pagans. Ayuda a los paganos. But let them know why you're doing it. Pero déjales saber por qué lo estás haciendo. Proclaim it. Proclámalo. We are giving you water, Palestinians. Why? Te estamos dando agua, palestinos. ¿Por Because qué? the God of Abraham has rained on Israel. Porque el Dios de el Dios de Abraham mandó lluvia a Israel. Did your moon God forget about you? Tu Dios de luna se olvidó de ti. Well, here the God of Abraham has rained on us. El Dios de Abraham nos mandó lluvia. And we'll share it with you. Y vamos a compartir contigo. Don't worry, you'll heap fiery coals on them. No te preocupes, vas a hacer una corona de brasas sobre su cabeza. Look at verse 43. Versículo 43. You have heard that your fathers were told, love your neighbors and hate your enemy. Amen. Amen. I thought we just read in, in Exodus. Yo pienso que acabamos de leer el libro de Éxodo. To help our enemies. Ayudar a nuestro enemigo. So I guess this must have been Talmudic. Entonces yo pienso que esto es algo talmúdico. Hate our enemies. Odiando. No, the Lord said, help your enemies' donkey. El Señor dice, ayuda al asno de tu enemigo. Give him water. Dale agua. Bring him back. Llévalo de regreso a su hogar. Turn to Luke chapter 10, please. Vamos a Lucas capítulo 10. Verse 25 to 37. Versículo 25 al 37. Luke chapter 10. Lucas capítulo 10. Verse 25 to 37. Versículo 25 al 37. Anybody getting anything here? Learning how to be a servant? Están aprendiendo cómo ser siervos. You want to get on meat, everybody. Want to get on meat? Queremos no aquí, more milk. No, contener, comer comida sólida, no más leche. No more leche. No más leche. No más leche. <laughs> Luke 10, verse 25 to 37. Lucas capítulo es versículo 25 al 37. An expert in the Torah stood up to try and trap him by asking, Rabbi, what should I do to, to obtain eternal life? Well, Yeshua said to him, what is written in Torah? How do you read it? He answered, you are to love Jehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your understanding, and your neighbor as yourself. That's the right answer. Yeshua said, do this and you will have life. But he, want, but he wanting to justify himself, said to Yeshua, and who is my neighbor? Taking up the question, Yeshua said, a man was going down from Yerushalayim to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him naked and beat him, then went off, leaving him half dead. By coincidence, a Kohen was going down on the road. But when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite who reached the palace, uh, reached the place and saw him also pass by on the other side. But a man from Shemron who was traveling, came up upon him. When he saw him, he was moved with compassion. So he went up to him, put oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them, then set him on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out two days' wages, gave them to the innkeeper and said, Look after him, and if you spend more than this, I'll pay you back when I return. Of these three... Which one seems to have become the neighbor of the man who f fell among robbers? He answered, the one who showed mercy toward him. Yeshua said to him, you go and do as he did. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 5, uh, 25. Veamos el versículo 25, por favor. An expert in the Torah stood up and tried to trap him, asking, Rabbi, what should I do to obtain eternal life? Amen? How do we obtain eternal life? ¿Cómo tenemos vida eterna? Being born again and following the commandments. Naciendo de nuevo y siguiendo los mandamientos. How do we how how would that rabbi have obtained this eternal life? ¿Cómo este rabino obtenió esta vida eterna? By helping those who hated him. O, a, ayudando a los que lo odian a él. He should have helped the man that was injured. Él debía haber ayudado a la persona que estaba herida. Look at verse 27. En el versículo 27. He answered, you are to love Jehovah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your understanding, and your neighbor as yourself. 
Amen? What's the definition of love? ¿Qué es el significado de amor? Follow the commandments. Seguir los mandamientos. With all your heart, with all your strength, with everything. Con todo tu corazón, con toda tu fuerza, con todo. Look at verse 29. En el versículo 29, por favor. But he wanting to justify himself said to Yeshua, and who is my neighbor? Amen? Amen. Well, the Torah expert should have known this. El experto en el Torah debía saber esto. The stick theory. La teoría del palo. That we should all be one people. Que todos hemos que ser un solo pueblo. He should have read it. The Ezekiel scripture, right? If he was an expert in the Bible, he should have known this, right? But he, but he wanted to play games. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. But he didn't want to follow what he should have been doing. Look at verse 31. By coincidence, a comb was going down on that, on that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Amen? Amen. This is about that, that passage about the, the injured man. Es es esta escritura sobre este hombre herido. <sighs> I'll become unclean. Voy a ser una persona impura. What is Torah? What, what should we do? ¿Qué es Torah que tenemos que hacer? You're a trained medical professional. Si eres una persona entrenada en la medicina. He's a Cohen. Eres un sacerdote. A trained medical doctor. Es un ent médico entrenado. Oh, he does. He's got Obamacare. I don't want that. Tiene Obamacare. Yo no quiero eso. Obamacare doesn't pay for anything. Obamacare no paga para nada. It's called socialized medicine. That's why. Eso se llama medicina socialista. Oh, he's not going to pay me back. Él no me va a pagar de vuelta. We're supposed to do it because why? Tenemos que hacerlo porque. You're a trained doctor. Porque eres un doctor entrenado. You're to help the injured. Para ayudar a los heridos. Look at verse 32. En el versículo 32. Likewise, the Levi who reached the place and saw him also pass by on the other side. Amen? Amen. The Levite is sort of like the ambulance guy. El levita es como la persona que maneja la ambulancia. He's not as trained as a Cohen. No está entrenado como un sacerdote. But he's a medical professional. Pero es un profesional de, medica, de medicina. He's got Obamacare. Stay away from him. Tiene Obamacare. Mantente lejos de él. It doesn't pay for anything. No paga nada. Why? ¿Por qué? It's socialized medicine. Es medicina socialista. It doesn't pay for anything. No paga para nada. But he walked on the other side too. Pero él caminó al otro lado también. Was this correct? Esto era correcto. What does Torah teach us? ¿Qué nos enseña el Torah? To be servants. Tenemos que ser siervos. To help those that can't help themselves. Y ayudar a los que no se pueden ayudar ellos mismos. Look at verse 33. En el versículo 33, por favor. But a man from Shamron who was traveling came upon him and when he saw him he was moved he was moved with compassion. Amen. Amen. Who moved him with compassion? ¿Quién fue movido con compasión? It's called the Ruach HaKodesh. Se llama Ruach HaKodesh. That's what moved him. Eso es lo que lo movió. Because he saw somebody. Porque él vio a alguien. That was part of the sticks. Que es parte de este palo. Who was injured. Que estaba herido. Who wasn't dead. Que no estaba muerto. He must have been breathing. Y pronto estaba respirando. He was supposed to help. Y él tenía que ayudar. Look at verse 35. En el versículo 35. The next day he took out two days wages and gave them to the innkeeper and said, look after him. And if you spend more than this, I'll pay you back when I return. Amen? Amen. Did the guy ask for anything? El hombre pidió algo a cambio. Did the guy from Shamron ask for anything? El hombre pidió algo de cambio. He did it. Why? Él lo hizo por qué? Because he was moved with compassion. Porque fue movido con compasión. Because where does Torah live? Donde vive el Torah? It lives inside of us. Vive dentro de nosotros. Go to Romans 12, last scripture. Vamos a Romanos capítulo 12, la última escritura. Romans 12. Romanos capítulo 12. I hope you learned something today. Espero que han aprendido algo el día de hoy. Anybody want to be a better servant today? Alguien, ustedes quieren ser mejores siervos el día Make de hoy. Make Yeshua happy. Y hacer Yeshua contento. Make them as one as you and I, Father, are one. Hacerlos uno como tú, Padre, y tú y yo somos uno. Romans 12. Romanos capítulo 12. Last scripture. Última escritura. Verse 17 to 21. Versículo 17 al 21. Romans 12. Romanos capítulo 12 Verse 17 through 21 Versículo 17 al 21 Repay no one evil for evil but try to do whatever Let me read that again Repay no one for evil for evil but try to do what what everyone regards as good If possible 
and to the extent that it depends on you, live in peace with all people. Never seek revenge, my friends. Instead, leave that to God's anger. For the Tanakh, it is written, Jehovah says, Vengeance is my responsibility. I will repay. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. For if he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap fiery coals of shame on his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 20. En el versículo 20, por favor. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap fiery coals of shame on his head. Amen? Amen. This is not some new teaching. Eso no es una enseñanza nueva. Where was Paul writing from? ¿Dónde estaba escribiendo Pablo? From Proverbs. Del Proverbios. From Proverbs 25. Del libro de Proverbios capítulo 25. The Christian church thinks this is a new teaching. Las iglesias cristianas piensan que es una nueva enseñanza. It is not. No lo es. It's from the law. Es de la ley. Look at verse 21. En el versículo 21. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Amen. Amen. How do we conquer evil with good? ¿Cómo conquistamos lo, lo, ma, lo malo con lo bueno? What is good? ¿Qué es bueno? Following the commandments of God. Siguiendo los mandamientos. Then Dios. we will have so much. Vamos a tener bastante. We'll be able to give it away. Que vamos a poder dar. And we'll be able to tell them why. Y vamos a tener habilidad de decirles por qué. Finally. Y finalmente. Verse 19. Versículo 19. Never seek revenge, my friends. Instead, leave that to God's anger. For in the Tanakh it is written, Jehovah says, Vengeance is my responsibility. I will repay. Amen? Amen. Well, he said something bad to me. Él me dijo algo feo. He looked at me wrong. Él me miró de una forma desagradable. She translated it wrong. Y él lo tradujo mal. I can do the project better. Yo puedo hacer el proyecto mejor. Leave that to God, everybody. Déjale eso a Dios. Look inside yourself. Mira dentro de ti. We need to be a united people. Tenemos que ser un pueblo unido. For Yeshua said, make them as one, as you and I, Father, are one. Yeshua dijo, haz todos uno, así como tú, tú, Padre, somos uno. We need to be ready for what is coming, and we are not. Tenemos que estar listos para lo que viene, no estamos preparados. We need to learn how to be servants of the Most High. Hi God. Tenemos que aprender a ser siervos del Dios Altísimo. For Yeshua said, Porque Yeshua dijo, I did not come to be served, no vine para ser servido, but to serve. Pero para servir. Ask yourself today, Haz esta pregunta, how ¿cómo? are you serving the King? ¿Cómo estás sirviendo tú al Rey? What did you do for him this week? ¿Qué hiciste para el Rey, para el reino de did you tie 10% of your time to him this week? ¿Diste tu 10% a él esta semana? Or did you watch too much of the boob tube? O viste mucha televisión. Be a servant of God. Ser un siervo de Dios. He has placed gifts inside of you. Él puso regalos, habilidades dentro de ti. And if you do become a servant of the Most High God, y si tú te conviertes un siervo del Dios Altísimo, follow Yeshua's example. Sigue el ejemplo de Yeshua. And serve others. Y sirve a otros. Amen. 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 Why don't we just bow our hearts for a moment? Tenemos nuestro corazón por un momento. If you're out there, si estás allá afuera, and you've realized, si te has dado cuenta, that you want to become part of the sticks, quieres ser parte de estos palos, and you want to be bound in that covenant, y quieres hacer esa unión en ese pacto, and you've realized that Yeshua is Messiah, y te has dado cuenta que Yeshua es el Mesías, I'm going to lead in a simple prayer. Voy a hacer una oración pequeña. Say Yeshua. Di Yeshua. I'm sorry. Lo siento. I ask for your forgiveness. Te pido por tu perdón. I ask you to wipe away my sins. Quiero que me limpies y me quites todos mis pecados. For today I want to become part of the covenant. Porque el día hoy quiero ser parte parte de tu pacto. I ask you to wash me. Quiero que me laves. Clean me. Me limpies. Make me something new. Y hazme algo nuevo. So I can live my life for you. Así puedo vivir mi vida para ti. If you've done that for the very first time, si has hecho esto por primera vez, and truly meant it in your heart, de verdad me lo dices de corazón. Yeshua said, Yeshua dice, that you must proclaim him before man, tienes que proclamarlo a él delante de los hombres, so he can proclaim you before his Father in heaven. Así te puede proclamar delante del Padre en el cielo. So if you've done that for the first time, just slip up your hands so we can pray with you. Si has hecho esto por primera vez, levanta tu mano para orar contigo. 
If you're hearing this on internet or television or radio, just let us know. Si estás escuchando por internet, televisión o radio, dejas saber. Your name is Yeshua. En tu nombre es Yeshua. Amen. 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 Panavole ka biku ne ka Isa Yehova Panavole ka biasem la ka Shalom May Yehovah bless you and keep you. May Yehovah make his face shine and show you his favor. May Yehovah lift up his face toward you and give you peace. Yehovah ti bendiga. I te guarde. Aga responde ser. Yehovah sucroso sorba ti. I haya de ti misericordia. Yehovah. I say a tisu grosso e ponga in ti pas. In the name of the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. In his name, Yeshua, I pray. Amen and amen.